I have a bit of a... A bit of a humble request. One that I... I hope you all will oblige me in. Buy the merch! 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 Buy it! Buy it! Buy the merch! Wow! For those of you who are like, I hate Pippa. I would never buy Pippa merch. I only want Slimekin Slipper merch. Well, take a look. Right there, right, right there. You see that? You see, you see that? That Slimekin Slipper, Slimekin Karaoke and Bar. Heck yeah. There's also Pipossum, Spiderkin, Phase Coffee. There's a lot on there. There's a lot on there. It's like it's like a, a racing style, I believe is the the name of this like type of aesthetic. Am I am I am I correct there, chat? Or am I correct? Can you fit any more badges on there? Well, because it's supposed to be like a racing hoodie. A racer jacket. So that's... I don't know if you've ever seen, like, race car stuff. But this is, like, what they look like. This is what those those style of jackets look like. Jack Madsen, thank you. Pippa, you're giving me a headache. Screw you! Fluffy Panzer, thank you. Ricky Bobby! If you ain't first, you're last! FYCY, thank you. Pippa Love! Is here, thank you. Of course, Pippa gets a racist or a racing hoodie. Oh my god. You can be a premium racist in this hoodie. Hold on. I'm trying to... <laughs> I kind of just like left it off on that sentence. I was gonna... I was gonna say something else, but I was focused on... on... <laughs> Grabbing the link, the pin. But yeah, there you go. It's available now on the Lewid website. You can pick it up. It's a it's a racer style hoodie. This is an official collab, so by uh buying the hoodie, you are directly supporting me and the rest of Face Connect as well. So yeah. Yeah. Fruity, thank you. Send slime can my regards, rabbit. Hold on, thank you. How am I to afford my mortgage with this merch? I glad thank you. I already have a racist hoodie. And my document, thank you. March! Buy the march! The ship of merch just went off sale, so you know clearly there's room in your budget for for this month's merch, right? Right? Anyways, anyways, chat. How do you guys feel about Florida men? How do you guys feel about Florida men? I swear my desk space is becoming more and more cramped, and I don't know how it's happening. I need to I need to clear off my desk. There's so much shit. And I bought these little... I bought these little things. The cord organizers. I bought cord organizers that are supposed to stick to the table. Because every time I leave my chair, I rip my keyboard off the desk. And also the Stream Deck Plus. And also my mouse, like, keeps getting... Like, the weight of gravity is pulling my mouse cord down. And it's, like, looped around my keyboard. So it's like getting stuck and it keeps like getting to the point where I can only move my mouse like half of an inch. So I'll be like playing games or whatever, right? I'm streaming and it's like I, I have like such a small window. So I end up turning my DPI like all the way up and like yanking on my mouse cord. And it's like the fucking my the cable management max. Like I tried. I tried. It won't stick to the desk. I gotta get like some fucking gorilla glue to like keep this shit down on my desk. These goddamn cord organizers are so fucking shitty. Background noise. Thank you. Maybe more. No more than three empty coffee cups. Well, I actually just took out all my coffee cups. So now it's just a mess of cans. Megan is golden gear. Thank you. Love the glasses, Pippa. Makes you look smart. 
why do you, why, what, why the ellipses? Bingo, 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 thank you. I am Florida man. These news articles just my else on me. Hangry monkey, thank you. Don't worry about space around the mouse if you use a trackball. Mmm. I don't understand how people use those. I don't understand. Why do you keep so many cans? Because the problem is, is the cans that are, that I drink everything out of, right? Those are easy to dispose of. So I get rid of those like immediately, right? But then the, the cans where it's like, there's like a little bit left at the bottom because like I opened something before bed and then forgot to like drink all of it. Or like I, I opened something and then I just completely spaced because I got so busy with something else. Like those end up sitting on my desk forever because those you have to, first of all, I have to take the straw out of them. Then I have to like take them over to the sink and I have to like sit there with them and watch them drain because otherwise like they'll dry sticky on the stain on the sink. And it's just such a pain. Straw? Yeah, I drink my soda with straws so it doesn't touch my teeth as much. Ah. Ah. Man. Oh, you poor baby. It's not that big of a deal. It's not it's not that big of a deal. Well, Mama can come and clean up. Mama Kin's already sick of my shit. Mama Kin's like, "Oh, it's so much more work having having somebody here, you know, cuz like when it was just me and Papakin, you know, we like never ate at home and now like there's dishes and like your dog sheds, so I have to vacuum and blah 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 blah. It's like man. Man. I get it. I get it. Ah. <sighs> I can't imagine why. They had fun before you. Yeah, we had fun before you came along. We buy and thank you. Let's start drinking straight from the two liter bottle. Cheat taco, thank you. Curse of Ra? What, what is this? <laughs> Man, thank you. Take out the straw, pour it down the drain, and make sure it all drains properly. How do you manage such a feat? It's just tedious, right? It's just tedious. It's not a big deal on its own. It's just one of those things where it's like... Man. Jomoko, thank you. If I recall correctly, the reason there is so many is because Florida's arrest records are public. Scary and hilarious truth is that the whole world is probably like this. True. They were always angry. PC streamer house win? I'd be up for it. Nicholas, thank you. Florida man reporting for duty won't bite unless... Hmm. I've been... I, I feel like I always say this, but I was I was a little bit extra busy this week, chat. And I'm going to continue to be a little bit extra busy for a little while. But, um... I need to adjust my glasses. Eh. Why are they, like, moving back into... The, the, okay, the, is this better? This this still looks strange to me. Why do the glasses look so off? Why are they, like, moving weirdly? What the hell? The glasses... The glasses are, like, being strange. Hmm. Um. Maybe that's better. Okay, anyways. Guess who got on a plane, chat? That's right. Me. Guess who? Guess who 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 left their comfy cozy little space and had to had to fly to I had to fly to another town. I don't know if I should say which town. I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably doesn't matter. I went and I flew. I flew to... Okay, okay. Uh, story time. Story time before we start on the Florida man stuff. Um, so... Management needed me to do something. They needed me to get a passport. <laughs> And so I had been like awkward about it where it's like I'm a, I'm an overthinker, right? So like I'm looking at I'm looking at the stuff to get a passport, right? And I'm like, "Okay, I need this type of ID, this type of ID. I need this and that." And so like a bunch of my stuff I didn't keep very good organization back where I used to live, right? And so when I moved, fun fact, 
if you're not organized before you move, you're definitely not going to be organized after you move. This is one of those things where if you move, you need to label every single box and you need to make sure everything is with everything else of that same type because otherwise you're just never going to find it. You're not going to find it. So. I lost some important documents while moving. <laughs> and so now that I'm back with my parents, my parents had um some of the documents and they gave me i say some they had one of the documents they they gave me the one document and i was like okay i'll find a spot for this and this was like right after i moved so i had no spot for that <laughs> I had no spot for that, so I just kind of shoved it in one of my bags. Now, I went and I checked all of my bags and I could not find it. So that was a bit of a problem because I needed that for my passport. So, I order a new one of those documents. Get it like quick shipping and everything. I had to go get like a notary and it was like a whole pain in the ass, but like it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't actually that bad, but... Thankfully, I'm very, I'm very grateful that my bank is just very chill and not like perpetually swamped. And I guess they're very accommodating. I don't know. I'm used to like with banks, they're like a nightmare, right? Where it's like everything, everything is like 10 layers of bureaucracy and you try, you try and do like the simplest thing and it's like, all right, we're going to need to see like 10 fucking forms of ID. You know what I mean? My bank is thankfully very chill. So. So. I get the documents that I need and I'm like freaking out, right? I'm like freaking out. And... Sakana is like, do I need to send somebody out to help you? And I'm like, no, I can do it. I'm a grown up. I can get done what I need to get done. Yeah, can you send somebody out? <laughs> guide sakana sends mumi out to walk me through everything and i'm like freaking out about this and that i'm like mumi we gotta go here and i gotta get this this temporary thing and and because it's a temporary one i need a a i need a a, a, a second one as well of this other type and then we gotta get like this done and that done and mumi's like calm down <laughs> Mummy adulting coach. Mummy, mummy adulting coach. And so, Mummy takes me around, uh, helping me, helping me sort out a bunch of stuff, helping me compile the documents that I need, and then we both fly out to a passport agency, um, to do like, to do like quick, uh, uh, like quick, quick, quick passport. You know what I mean? expedited and so we go and i immediately i mean like immediately when we get there she's like do you have do you have the proof of travel printed out and i'm like <sighs> <laughs> so yeah i'm kind of incompetent so Mumi takes me to fucking walgreens and we get that shit printed out <laughs> And so I've got, I've got this giant, I wish I could tell this story better, but it's all just such a blur in my head. I can't, 
chat, when I say that like I my my brain is fried, I mean like I was sitting in the car and we were chatting about face connect with each other and she brought up gen 3 or i did i can't remember and i was trying to remember who was part of gen 3 and i just literally could not think of anybody except for hina and amy because those were the two that i like most recently interacted with i just like I, my brain chat like is in a perpetual state of like like there is a damn blocking off like 95% of my brain like my brain is fucked right now so <laughs> so i get the i get the stuff that i need printed the itinerary the proof of travel blah 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 and and we go we go to like the passport agency and stuff and i'm like freaking out and like non-stop i'm like we should get there like an hour early. And she's like, why would we get there an hour early? And I'm like, because like, what if like security is really long and stuff? And she's like, it's not going to be that long. <laughs> and so we go. We go in. And everything's fine. And everybody's so polite and stuff. And everybody's so helpful. And I'm at like the, I'm at like the window. Talking to the, talking to the nice passport agency person. And and I had like a I had like a a mini another mini like panic mode where it's like my so my birth certificate has like different names than it should have for some parts and I'm like. What do I do about this? <laughs> so I printed out, just to be safe, two versions of my passport application. One with the names that it should have, and one with the names that it does have. And I just... I just went with the ones that it has on the birth certificate, because I'm like... Like, the idea was, is, like, I printed out both, and I was gonna ask, I was gonna be like, by the way, do I use the ones that, like, should be there, or do I use the ones that are there? <laughs> but then I'm at the window, right? I'm at the window. And she asked me, what are you going to Japan for? And I'm like... hanging out with friends because <laughs> i'm scared because i'm scared i paused for like a solid minute chat i paused for a solid minute i was so scared that if i said business that they'd be like do you have a visa for that <laughs> Do you need to apply? Do you, would you like to apply for a visa? Because that's going to take like five extra weeks to like validate and stuff. I'm like, I'm like freaking out. And I like asked Mumi about this ahead of time and stuff. And she was like, you could say business. It's fine. And I just I look the window and I'm like freaking out. Jen. I'm freaking out. <laughs> so anyways, Mumi had to answer a bunch of questions for me everywhere we went. <laughs> It's hard, chat. It's hard. <laughs> that woman is a saint. Mumi is a saint. Mumi is so... Mumi is so very, very chill. I'm very grateful for Mumi's help and how, and how chill she is. It was a lot of fun riding around that city with her. Mm. Yeah, seriously, seriously. Actual Tartar Wrangler, yeah. Well, he's the MVP, she is. We can hear dogs, yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> I'm very grateful for Face Connect management. Because holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> I would never get that shit done on my own time, right? Because, like, like cause we've, been, we've been planning stuff for a while, right? And... 
It's been like a it's been like an active effort towards like towards like some things, but like when it comes to like when it comes basically when it comes to anything like leaving the house, <laughs> I just fall apart so easily. I'm one of those people where I'll make a plan to go do something, right? And I'll like walk out the door and I'll I'll just like convince myself that like I'm gonna get stabbed and I'll go wa I'll fucking walk right back inside. <laughs> I and then one of my plans, one of my plans that I had actually made were I was relying I was relying on somebody else. Uh, did not work out. Did not work out. And so I was like, then I went like full like catastrophe mode of like, oh well, you know this didn't work out, so I need to just. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just wait until, uh, the first of the month to sort it out, right? <laughs> I can always thank you. Is the hunting trip with Papa Kin still happening? I'm not sure. The more Pippa, yeah. Full hiki. Mm. Dizzy, did Dizzy raid? Hello, Dizzy! Seymour, thank you. Why are you going to Japan to stock about to me, of course? No! One year. Oh, Dizzy said one year. What do you mean one year? What do you mean one year? Oh, that we've been working on this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. This is just grief in you. Man. Pippa doing her best and she's come a long way. Thank you. Thank you. I just... Man. Man. I have so many... I have so many things to talk about when it comes to the passport shit, man. I called the passport lady, uh... The, like... The, like, telephone line for it, right? And I was like... I I stumbled over my words and I said expedited instead of expedited. And the lady on the phone gave me like this like very judgmental tone. She was like... Um, we do expedited services here. Is that what you mean? And I just like died a little more inside. And then she was like, oh yeah, you have to call back in two days. And I was like... God. God. You spoke to THE passport lady! Yes, Jane Passport. She's probably used to it. It's the way she said it, man! Like, I was already so insecure! <laughs> it's like such a- it's such a non-issue, man. It's such a non-issue. But like, when you're- when you're like, freaking out, every little thing is so... It's fine, Pippa. What matters is getting it done. Yep. Yep. Every ESL mistake sets it back two more days! Well, I got it. I got my... I got my passport. Now I can... I can leave the country. Don't know why I'd ever want to! But... Magic, did you just want to go on a date with Mumi? Oh my god. I did have a great time with Mumi. Uh... While we were in... While we were in that city... Um... She was like, Oh, well, is there anything you want to do while we're here? And I was like, Oh! Yeah, I wonder... Because this was like a really big city, so I was like, Oh! Uh, let's go... Let's go check out some, like, antique bookshops. And so we go to... Okay, so I look on Google, right? And I find this one antique bookshop. And it says open. And so we go to it. And, uh, we look at the door and it says... Some shit along the lines of, Sorry, we're not here right now. Please knock if the lights are on. Available by appointment only. And so I knock. And nobody was home. <laughs> so I leave, right? We leave. We go to another bookstore. And this one... I asked the lady at the counter, I was like, Hi, do you have any, like... Do you have any, like, vintage books? Or signed copies? Or anything like that? And she's like, Oh yeah, we got signed copies everywhere. You just gotta look for them. Glad to know you're passionate about your job, bitch! You're so helpful! That's so helpful! Thank you! Thank you for your service, ma'am! Thank you! It's a hunt? Yeah, that's so fucking helpful! <laughs> I didn't find anything interesting. I like... I really like collecting... Like, vintage books and stuff. A lot of them aren't worth hanging on to. Um, 
because books take up a shit ton of space. But like stuff like signed copies of stuff, I'll always hang on to, even if it's like a really like no name small time book. Just because it's cool. Just because it feels like more. Like there's it's nice to have books, right? But if you're if you if you try and say like, I just want to hang on the I just want to collect books. Like there, there's just too many. There's you accumulate way too many too quickly, right? Because you go to the thrift store and you find you find books for like 25 cents and it's like, ah, oh, this looks good. So if you just limit it to like, like special, quote unquote, you know, I know it's kind of superficial, but it helps. It helps like limit what you're actually holding on to. And the rest are super easy to give away because like there's there's kids in my family and stuff and then like family friends and I can just like I just like give out like fucking boxes of books. It's nice and nice and convenient like i'm not gonna like some sometimes you can read a book twice right but like realistically you're not it's not it's not worth like, hanging on to like a massive collection and now i got an e-reader so <laughs> but yeah so i was on the hunt for like just something something different something to like actually hang on to as like a souvenir from the city and uh so that bookstore was a bust because anything from there, I could have just gotten on fucking e-reader and there was nothing that I could find that was signed and I wasn't going to spend forever digging. So we go to another bookshop. We go to another antique bookshop. And it says open on the on the Google Maps, right? On Google Maps, it says open. So we go there and it's like a long ass walk. Not like a super long walk, but it feels really long because there's lots of hills and shit. So we go there. And in between these bookshops, I'm like, I'm like dragging Mumi into pet stores. I'm like, ah, look at that! And she's like, ah, yeah, that's... That's neat. <laughs> so, so I'm dragging her into like pet shops and bookstores. And we go to the bookstore uh, on like... It was a cr pretty cool bookstore. It was like, it's like... I don't know if I should say too much about it, but it's not like a really ritzy side of the town, which I did not expect. We were like walking past like brand name stores, which I've never actually seen a store like that in person. So it was really cool. Um, I didn't go inside any of them because I don't care that much, but it's like a fun little novelty of like, oh, look, there's Gucci. Oh, Dior. Oh, uh, Louis Vuitton. Like, that's so cool, right? So we're like walking through there and then we get there and I'm like, hey, do you know where the bookstore is? And she's like, the fucking security lady, she's like, yeah, they're closed until the 8th. Can you put that on your fucking website then? Can you put that on your goddamn website? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. So by this point, I'm like kind of pissed off, right? I'm kind of pissed off. You would think in like a city that big that you would find exactly what you're looking for. And it would be like immediately available because it's a fucking city. So. Mumi's like, oh, well, how about we, how about we call the other place and see if we can get an appointment? And I'm like, okay. And so I call them and the lady's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm here. You can just walk right in. We opened like three hours ago and I'm losing my fucking mind because I was there like fucking four hours ago, right? I was there like three and a half hours ago, okay? I tried that shit like literally like less than a fucking hour before she got back in the store. Ah! Ah! Skill issue! Made me so mad. Impact, thank you, hype it, but just got the stream with, with Lloyd. By the way, you're wonderful to listen to while in the free what the fuck. It's a VTuber shop where you can find lots of cool VTuber merch, including a new Face Connect slash Lloyd uh, special collaboration hoodie. Check it out. Yeah, 
So you didn't go? No, I did go. And I did get a cute little uh, book that's like a... It's like, it's like a, it's basically a book for tourists, I think, but it's, it's pretty old. I think it's from like the 1950s. I've yet to actually crack it open and read it because I'm scared to, I don't have like a nice spot in my room for it right now. I'm kind of rearranging, trying to like prepare shit, but I got that and I got a uh, really, really cool uh, vintage book on goldfish breeds. So that's exciting. They had... They had a they had a book there uh, called Vanity Fair, and that I didn't realize Vanity Fair was anything other than a magazine. I didn't realize that was the name of an actual story. It was a really cool book. It had a bunch of it had a bunch of classics in it, and I really I really wanted it, and I was really tempted to get it, but it was two hundred and fifty dollars, and I was like, nah, I'm already paying way too much for the fucking goldfish book. <laughs> I cannot justify $250 on this fucking book right now, man. If I had like a really nice shelf for it, maybe. But $250. That's a first edition. I don't think it's a first edition. It's just a it's just a really rare book. Uh, how outdated is an old goldfish book? You know, I'm not actually sure. It might be super outdated. But it also might be totally fine. Was it out of print? Both books were, yeah. Funny thing you was the red vials are blue whenever you scream. I what the fuck? What the fuck? 250 is a lot. I think I paid $50 for the goldfish book, which is pretty steep, but it's a beautiful looking book and I'm very excited to read it and it feels very cool to have it, you know? You know, it's not just it's not just the time that I get I'm not just paying for the time reading it. I'm also paying to have something very lovely to display after I'm done with it. You know what I mean? Last tangent, thank you. The goldfish meta is way different this season. <laughs> At least the diagrams and photos are neat. Yeah, there's some there's some pretty cool illustrations and there's a photo at the beginning, which I thought was really interesting because... I've never really seen that before. Like a, uh, an older book that has just a printed out photo at the very beginning. Like a photo page. I've never seen that before. In full Saxon, then you paid a hundred dollars for an out of print book once. Worth it. Mm. PDFs are a thing. Yeah. So Florida. Yeah. Yeah. So Florida. Florida. Right. Okay. Sorry. I got very distracted. I had a great time though. I had a great time. It was really fun running around with Boomy. I guess it's fine to say it. we were in San Francisco. Caboose, thank you. We were in San Francisco. Uh, I expected it to be a lot worse than it was. But Portland, or not Portland, uh, San Francisco was pretty decent. Pretty decent. Did it smell there? Um, it really depended. Some parts, some parts of San Francisco are disgusting and there's like feces and there's like scary looking homeless people just sleeping on the ground, which is kind of intimidating. But then other parts are very clean. Like some parts of San Francisco are like fucking pristine and... Literally everybody I met there was beyond wonderful. I did not ex- I, I fucking did not expect that at all. I was like fully- I was fully ready for everybody in San Francisco to be a giant piece of shit, but I didn't run into anybody mean. In fact, everybody in San Francisco that I ran into was super, super accommodating. They were very, like, out of their way, like, Oh, yeah, uh, you're looking for a bookstore? Well, uh, you know, my buddy actually recommends this one, blah, 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 blah. Um, me and Mumi were riding around on these scooters, and we didn't really know, like, what the etiquette was for the scooters, and it said not to ride them on the sidewalk, so we were, like, trying to ride them on the road and stuff. And some guy came up and he was like, oh, yeah, it's fine if you ride them on the sidewalk. Just like ride them really slow. And then he fist bumped Mumi. <laughs> it was so... Did you go to a nice restaurant? No, just went to like local regular eateries. There was like a... There was like a... A, a Turkish... Like... The small Turkish restaurant that we went to. Just like a very... The very small, very like informal... And they were wonderful. Um, very, very accommodating. 
Uh, I forget what they did in particular that was super nice, but there was something that... I just, I just didn't expect. Um... Everybody was, like, very... I guess in tune with each other as well. Like, me and Mumi at the Turkish restaurant, we, like, stood up and we weren't sure if we, like, leave our plates on the table. And... Like, the, the person at the counter was like, oh, yeah, you just leave it there. I was like, just, I don't know. I don't know. It was just very... Very chill. Everybody was so fucking nice. The fucking lady at the passport agency was so sweet. Um, the security everywhere was so friendly. Hello, how are you? Have a nice day. Thank you. Um... Maybe the outside world isn't so scary after all? Maybe. I don't know, man. You were not in the Cali, I know. I don't know, man. San Francisco was so fucking chill. I still wouldn't want to live there. It's still ridiculously expensive, and I don't want to live in, like, a super cramped city and shit. But... Yeah, um... Met two people, just casually. Like, uh, there was... One was, a uh, Like, a taxi driver, and the other was... Uh, a waiter at one of the other little restaurants that we popped in at and they were both like they both lived in an area that was around where I used to live and they were so like like just by like complete like happenstance man they were like they like brought it up and I was like oh yeah well, oh fuck I know where that is do you know where this place is and they're like yeah and it was so just it was so chill, man. Everybody was so nice. And so I I tipped the one guy like $20 because he was like really cool. Um <laughs> I also I'm I'm such an idiot, Chad. I also gave $20 to there was this one guy at the airport that was like directing people around. He was like doing construction work and he was so he was just so friendly to everybody and like going out of his way to help people and I was like, "Here you go." <laughs> I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. I thought I was in the Twilight Zone, man. It was so weird. It was so weird. Everybody was so nice. The only awkward moment was was at uh one point in the airport. They were uh like this is like the rudest thing that happened, and it was literally nothing. The fucking TSA agent was like. Oh yeah, you got a lot of stuff in your pockets. You gotta go, you gotta go dump that. And I was like, oh shoot, right, sorry. Because I forgot I had napkins in my pockets. And then I also had to like take my jacket off because I don't want you wearing a jacket through the through the security thing. It was so like chill, chat. Geeky Romance, thank you. Do you take into account that you go with the expectation of people spitting on you? You imagine hell you get normal, hence you feel good. Maybe that's what it is. Pizza boy, thank you. Still waiting for Papasum to come back. It was so weird. It was so, so chill. Lord, come inside Spartan, thank you. Please do not become soft on California because they couldn't hide their vitriol behind a screen. Some people may be nice, but the state deserves the disdain it gets. I mean, I still don't like the state of California, but I was amazed at how nice everybody in San Francisco was. I just... And I thought it would be a lot dirtier than it was. Like, there's definitely some parts that are fucking filthy. Right? But then there's other parts where it's, like, very clean. And it's, like, if I was gonna, like, visit San Francisco frequently or whatever, or I'm not gonna live there. But if I was gonna live there, I would just, like, stick to, like, the cleaner parts. You know what I mean? Like, I assume after a while, you learn which parts don't fucking suck. It's all about where you go. Yeah. Chris Kringle, thank you. I remember one time my family had a reservation for a ferry to the Alcatraz to in San Fran that we missed by just a few minutes. The staff were nice enough to carry it over to the next day for us. Super chill, like you said. It's so weird, isn't it? They're so nice. San Francisco is so nice. I, I'd recommend it for, like, tourism. If you, if you wanted to, like, go visit a place... ...where the people are just really nice and it's, it's just really chill... San Francisco. San Francisco is very chill. In my experience... It's fun to visit. Yeah. I would go again. I would go again. Especially to like try and hit up some of the shops that I wanted to that were closed when I went. Hmm. 
People with money are leaving, so they're nice to tourists. Mm. I always thought San Fran looks like Resident Evil IRL. And the zoo. Is there a zoo in San Francisco? I'm 14, thank you. They cleaned it up recently for a certain visit. All? Pip has been compromised. Listen, California sucks. All right, do not cross the bridge to Oakland. No, 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 no Oakland, no Oakland. I, I, I know what Oakland is like. No, thank you. Chad Maximum, thank you. Sorry, I don't visit states where you can't carry. Understandable. Lots of naval museums there. Yeah. But, uh... Anyways, let's look at the Florida men. Yeah, thank you. Pippa blinked twice at the San Francisco Tourism Board paid you. They did not. Yeah, thank you. How long is the jacket on pre-order? Pre-order for? I'm not actually sure. Ars Medora, thank you. Perhaps the cleaner parts you saw were... Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just know. I had a surprisingly wonderful time. Usually every time I go into a city, it's like... One of the worst experiences I've ever had, and I like hang on to how much I hate it for like the rest of my life. But I would go back to San Fran. I would go back to San Fran. There's a lot of cities I can I can safely say I would rather die than go back to. But San Fran was it's pretty nice. CJ Odell, thank you. Pippa, you're honestly adorable. What the fuck? Face fan, thank you. San Fran is good if you avoid the porns. Well, even like the tweakers and shit, man. They didn't like. They weren't, like, aggressive or anything. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. I lived in, like, a tourist town once, and the tweakers were kind of aggro, you know what I mean? Like, they'd, like, follow you around, trying to, like, pickpocket you, and they'd be, like, fucking flipping out in the stores and stuff, but... I don't know. Twiggers and San Fran didn't have any bad experiences. Not to say that they, it wasn't likely that it would happen or whatever, but... They're just very chill. Very chill. Kept to themselves. Um... The most that happened was somebody went by and asked uh, me and Mumi for a cigarette. Jesus Zamar, thank you. It's almost like you shouldn't judge people based on their government or online caricatures. True, Jesus. Very, very true. Very, very true. Hmm... I don't know. I told my parents, though, and they were like, That's not the San Francisco we know! <laughs> Did you all thank you? I mean it, especially with the cute glasses. Well, thank you, thank you. JG Dog, thank you. Glad you had fun in San Francisco. My family took trips to the piers, and it's always wonderful taking in the sea here. Also, yes, stay away from Oakland. <laughs> What's a tweaker? Druggy. All right. Okay, Florida bad time! <laughs> now that we're 50 minutes in the stream, or 44 minutes. Okay. Um. Um. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Wait. How should I? How should I organize this? Uh. My window layouts are all weird. Tainted love. This was just an uh, elaborate uh, disguise for a uh, fucking just chatting stream, anyways. All right. Methamphetamine and research chemical enthusiast. That's a great way of putting it. Alrighty. This is scary. Florida man used AI to create child pornography images, Sheriff says. Oh, Florida man. <laughs> oh, Florida man. Jensen Beach, Florida. Law enforcement in Florida says a man used artificial intelligence to create child pornography. Uh-oh. According to WPBF, the Martin County Sheriff's Office arrested Daniel Warren, 51, in January after detectives received an internet crime tip about child pornography. Officials said the delay was due to detectives trying to determine just how many cases were related. No, thank you. Can you please find out how long it's up for? If not up for long enough, I'll only end up with five. I want ten! Oh my god. Um... I can ask Luid real quick. I'm very curious. I'm very curious. Did this man install Stable Diffusion on his computer? To do this? How long is pre-order up for... By the way. 
Did this man like go like is this is this like a like a determined pedophile? Like he he downloaded stable diffusion to be able to create his own child pornography. I thought AI wouldn't do that. Well, if you're using like if you're using like the 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 models online, like they're super strict. Super strict about everything. UNSC Saratoga, thank you one time. While visiting Alcatraz as a little kid, the author of an Alcatraz history book gave me a free signed copy! Aww, she said it was because it was sweet and adorable. San Francisco people are nice folks. Aww. Glad to hear more positive stories. Hmm. Is AICP even illegal? Obviously real CL is because of harm? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna say... AI-generated child pornography is probably illegal. And I think... That makes sense because it's it's a little difficult to determine... I guess what is and isn't... AI-generated within, like, the terms of, like, legal shit, right? Like... And even aside from, like, that's not even getting into the, that's not even getting into, like, whether or not it should be illegal. But just, like, from, like, a legal sense, right? If you're looking at it, it's like, you don't... Like, I don't think the legal system has, like, the, the, the capabilities of, like, considering all, like, the nuances and shit. And it's like, a, it's gotta be, like, a whole big discussion, you know what I mean? Because it's like, what are these images trained off of to be able to generate this shit and it's horrifying but illegal i mean like I don't, I don't know. if it's indistinguishable then it is illegal it's using real children's faces isn't it it's it is also like like taking existing stuff to turn into that i don't know it's using real children's faces so it's not victimless Oh, thank you. Under federal law, it is illegal if it's indistinguishable from the real stuff. This is separate from obscenity law. That's a different thing. Ah! Hmm. I guess training the algorithm would be the illegal part? I would think. Because, like, you got to train it on something, right? So what are you training the AI on? Nobody's gonna train a model on actual CP, though. I wouldn't say nobody. I bet there's absolutely, like, fucked up... ...circles where they are... ...they are doing shit like that. You know? Like, I guarantee it. I guarantee there's, like, some fucking degenerate-ass forum out there... ...where people are, are, like, compiling all this shit and, and fucking... ...building this shit. Wouldn't be surprised. FBI servers! True. Oh, thank you. So, under USC, the Ashcroft 2001, the use of real children's pictures, even non-P, would definitely be illegal. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's interesting to see somebody get arrested for it. Regardless of... How, I guess, it is defined legally and... Hmm. It's pretty scary when you look at this stuff. Uh, D.E.T. Brian Broughton said, adding that the images look very real. What he does is take the faces of a child and then he sexualizes that, removes the clothes and poses a child and engages them in certain sexual... certain sexual activity and that's the images that he's making with his AI. Ah. That's so fucked up. Officials say at least one image was of a child under the age of five. This is the first case in Martin County where we have seen AI taking a regular headshot and then turning them into child porn and it's alarming to us. Yeah, so this is using like... This is using real children's faces. That's really fucking crazy. That is really fucking crazy. Where do you think he's getting the pictures of the children from? Do you think he's just like going off of Google or do you think he's like taking pictures in person? I didn't realize people were... were so... I shouldn't say people. I didn't realize pedophiles would be, like, so... so brazen. Until I saw, like, videos of people, like, confronting them. 
where it's like pedophiles will will go to like water parks and shit or just like regular parks and like take pictures of children there for their for their own fucked up use it's so deranged uh officials say at least one, uh this is our first case in Mark County where we've seen okay uh warren faces several charges including possession of child pornography and voyeurism under clothing the fbi also warned child sexual abuse material created with content manipulation technologies to include generative artificial ai is illegal good good Ghost of Wolfsung, thank you. Hey, Pippa, saw you were alive with the Florida topic. Just had to talk about the one time I, as a very small child visiting my grandparents, was attacked by a heron. Ah, no! Not a heroin addict, but a heron. Man, straight to the wood chipper, straight to the wood chipper. Okay, this one looked interesting. Bro, I could assassinate you. Florida man shoots roommate during vigilance drill. Oh, my God. Charlie Spur, thank you. I was just trying to, gen to AI generate a cupcake, bro. Orange City, Florida. A Volusia County man is facing charges after deputies say he accidentally shot a roommate in front of two small children. Mistaking comments the victim made as part of an ongoing series of drills to stay vigilant. Huh? Brad Marky Perez, 25, was arrested Tuesday for the March 20th incident at a home on 6th Street in Orange City. According to an affidavit, Marky Perez was in his living room when the victim came out of the kitchen and reportedly said, Bro, I could assassinate you right now in the blink of an eye. The report says Marky Perez told deputies he thought the victim had something in his hand, so he rose and pointed a handgun at him and accidentally hit the trigger. What? Dog, they are coming, pee pee. What? What? <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean accidentally? What do you mean accidentally? I don't believe you. I simply do not believe you. However, deputies said the gun safety was off and the bullet struck the victim in the jaw. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Black Sheep Boy, thank you. Tip friendly fire isn't. <laughs> the roommate was taken to a hospital with non life threatening injuries. The roommate confirmed that they often conduct drills to stay vigilant in their surroundings by trying to get the jump on each other. What? Mr. I thank you. At least he wasn't caught lacking. Usually the guns are not loaded or they use non-functioning rounds, officials said. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What? What is this? What is this? Chris Kringle, thank you. See, kids is why you should always be carrying. This is insane. Yeah, vibe check. This is how the bros vibe check. Women wouldn't get it. Kim, I thank you. I didn't shoot the gun, the meth did! The victim does not want to press charges, however, the shooting happened in front of two young children. The mother of the children told deputies that she has frequently asked the men to stop performing these drills! Ah! <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? How is this such a, like, ongoing thing? What are they normally doing? Are they really normally just like picking up a gun and fucking shooting each other? Like, boom, gotcha! Fucking leaping out from around a corner? And the other one like... Shoots a, a dummy round at him? Marky Perez is not facing charges in the shooting. However, he faces two counts of felony child abuse and one count of culpable negligence for firing the gun in front of the children and not knowing it was loaded. He was arrested after detectives obtained a warrant for these charges according to the sheriff's office. Man. Oh, Lewis says, pre-orders close May 10th for the hoodie. So you guys got plenty of time. Plenty of time. But it's a pretty cool hoodie. So I'd pick it up sooner rather than later. <laughs> Hell yeah, good shot, bro. Not lacking. Oh my God. As dumb as it, as dumb as this is, I think those char those are BS charges. I don't think so. I think these people risk the lives of those around them and those in the neighborhood. Assuming that they live next to other people. By firing like by 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 irresponsibly discharging a firearm. You know, like people, people like that need to have some sense knocked into them. 
Felony child abuse, though? Come on. Did it say felony child abuse? ISP hate? What? My internet is fine on my end! What's going on? Why? Huh? What the hell? Um... Hmm... Hmm. Sir, thank you, May 10th. Nice. Thank you, Pippa. No problem. We're all good? Alright. Yeah, because it's totally fine on my end. I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. Might be a YouTube problem. I think it's a YouTube problem. Uh, and Pan, thank you. Checks out for Orange County. Used to work for the county. Had a man shoot himself in the foot when he was trying to attack a gator. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Faces two counts of felony child abuse in one count. Hmm. Okay, the felony is a bit much. The felony is a bit much, in my humble opinion. I'm no fucking lawyer or whatever. But... Dartai, thank you. I think it might be a YouTube problem. I feel like... I feel like two counts of felony child abuse. Uh, Max Max, thank you. Feels like... I Feels like it could spiral to pointing a gun at someone because they had a toy gun. It does... It does look bad. It does look really, really bad. Like, if this person is so dumb that he... That he fucking shot his... Roommate over 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 that like the fucking stay vigilant drills. It does definitely feel like he could he could have shot one of the kids over something, you know? Not a crime to be dumb. Yeah, uh, I mean, yes, it is. It is a crime to be dumb. If you're doing if you're doing dumb shit that's illegal, it's a crime to be dumb. Like, what if he... What if he had shot one of the kids? This is the problem, right? Is you get... You get brain-dead motherfuckers. That make everybody else look bad. And it's people like this. Where if you... If you let them act up. If you let them... Potentially actually shoot a kid. It just... It just makes everything worse for everybody. On top of... On top of them fucking killing a child, potentially. Just of all song, thank you. That reminds me of an alleged classmate that allegedly heard demons tell him that his alleged roommate was gonna take his dog. So he allegedly blew him away with an alleged shotgun in Minecraft. Jesus Christ. Him as you nerf gun war gone wrong. All it takes is one guy to ruin it for everyone. True. Can I think you more like a YouTube problem? <laughs> Mishandling of a firearm is still mishandling a firearm and even worse in front of kids because they'll pick up on that. Judge probably factored that in. That this was a common thing too. Yeah, if the mom had said before, I'm gonna make a poll for this and let you guys vote. I'm I'm kind of erring on the side where you know what? Actually, this does make sense. Like it does seem like a lot at first, but there's two ki there's two kids in the house, and these people can't be responsible with their firearms. It sounds like they're just leaving their firearms around. Like, where did where did the guy even get the gun from? He rose and pointed a handgun at him and accidentally hit the trigger. So he was just He was just carrying a fucking loaded firearm in his house with the safety off. 
or I think more likely he probably had it like sitting on a coffee table or something and picked it up. I I kind of find it hard to believe that he had the weapon holstered or anything. If he's like sitting around at home. Probably in the couch cushions or something like that, yeah. Which man. There's no reason to carry if you're just sitting on the fucking couch. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously you, you would have firearms in your home somewhere, but like... Actively carrying a weapon around in your home? That's just a bit much. Ice be hate is breaking again. Hold on, did anything you... Pippa, can face knife please have a Florida... Can... Please go to a Florida convention. P.S. I'm from Florida. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> No, thank you. It's probably best I don't vote on the poll. I don't get weapon laws being British and all that. I try to thank you, play stupid games, and the kids win stupid prizes. And watch it, thank you. And I would have gone away with it too if it hadn't been for YouTube and the meddling ISP. I might just say fuck it and move over to move over to Twitch. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, we're back again. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hop on over to Twitch. Um if it doesn't drop again, let me show you. I haven't changed any settings or anything. Everything is totally fine on my end. My internet speed is perfect. I I don't know I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Anything but Twitch. You say that, but if I went over to Facebook or Kick, you'd be like, No! This is worse than Twitch! Uh, I'll, I'll keep going until it, until it does it again. I'll keep going until it does it again. If I see, if I see the ISP problem spam again, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head over to Twitch, because this is very, this is very annoying. Very, very annoying. Anyways, how's the poll looking? 74% of you guys says yes. The, say yes, the felonies are warranted. I, I, I'm inclined to agree. I'm inclined to agree. Facebook streams? Yeah, that's a thing. Twitch is better anyway because it allows subs to remove ads. Are there ads on YouTube? The mess! Thank you for the good pee Hmm. We're good here, keep going. No, thank you. I think I prefer Twitch right now. I have a lot of bits. I'm saved up and I'm willing to throw. Twitter stream. I could also do a Twitter stream. Alright, back on noise. Thank you. Stream's working totally fine for me. It's gotta just be on YouTube then. Suspected space junk crashes through Florida's, Florida man's home. It almost hit my son. What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Huh? Chat? 
Suspected space junk crashes through Florida man's home. Almost hit my son. The incident happened on March 8th when a two-pound cylindrical-shaped object crashed through the roof of a family home in Naples, Florida. What is that? Alien spacecraft parts. Evil Chipotle. A man's home in Florida was damaged after an alleged space object fell from the sky and came crashing through it. The incident happened on March 8th when a two-pound cylindrical-shaped object crashed through the roof of a family home in Naples, Florida. Notably, Alejandro Artero was on vacation when he received a call from his son saying he heard a tremendous sound and there was a gaping hole in the ceiling and floor. Fortunately, no one was hurt during the ordeal. It was a tremendous sound. It almost hit my son. He was two rooms over and heard it all. Something ripped through the house and then made a big hole in the floor and ceiling. What the fuck? Hello? Looks like... What? Looks like one of those missing... One of those pieces missed... Me F.T. Myers and landed in my house in Naples? What the fuck? Ah! Can we- can we just look at the images? Uh, I just want to see the images. What the fuck? Is that the top of his roof? Is this his roof? Oh my god. Elon's after him? Yeah, he pissed off Elon Musk, and now he's paying the price. What the hell? What the fuck? Can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine? Starling second function? That's terrifying. Oh, Fort Myers. I'm brain dead today. What the hell? Can you please... Can you please assist with getting NASA to connect with me? I've left messages and emails without a response. Oh my god. If the object is found to be space junk, the agency could be liable for damages. Oh my god, can you imagine suing NASA, chat? Could you imagine suing NASA? Holy shit! Yeah, come get your shit. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, it could just be a part of a of a Boeing aircraft. Fix my roof, space boys. <laughs> what? Literally no, because they have absolute immunity. Do they really? NASA got money for it. Just say it's Soviet. What if it's Russian though? You're gonna sue the USSR. I'm going to thank you. His son got his own visual instrument. <laughs> Oh god, that's so fucked. It's so fucked. Man. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Literally no way of predicting it and it's just gonna obliterate whatever's in its path. What the hell? Man held woman captive in Tampa Bay area tortured her for months. Hillsborough County deputies rescued a kidnapping victim Monday after she was subjected to months of horrific abuse and torture, according to release. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office said deputies found the victim after someone called about an injured woman who just escaped from a van and needed help at a mobile gas station in Sefner. Is this a video of it? Is this a, is this a video? There's no audio or anything. I guess this is chasing the- this is them chasing the van? That had the guy that was... That was... The kidnapped her? Oh. Uh, dash cam footage shows the moment suspect's vehicle becomes disabled during chase. Oh. According to investigators, the victim had been kidnapped in January by Walter Med Medina, 48, of Tampa, whom she met while panhandling in the area of Hillsborough Avenue and Habana Avenue. At first, Medina gave the victim food and drugs, but things soon turned to, into a saga of unimaginable suffering as the suspect subjected the victim to nonstop abuse while holding her against her will for two and a half months. Were they even looking for her during this? What the hell? Eventually, the victim took a chance to escape after Medina left her alone for a short moment at Walgreens. He was taking her out places? What? What the hell? He took her- he took her out to fucking Walgreens? That's crazy. That is crazy. 
I can't imagine the torture this victim endured for months, but I can imagine the relief she felt when our deputies arrived. Like, if you're out like that... I feel like... I feel like your best bet is to, like, make a scene in public, right? But then also, oh, like, the amount of, like... Bravery it would... it would take to do something like that? Because I'd be scared of, like, just getting fucking beat down and everybody just, like, thinks, like, oh... Just a drug addict being weird. You know? That's terrifying. That's so terrifying. A reign of terror comes to an end. That's what Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister says after his deputies rescued a woman who was held captive and tortured for months in the Tampa Bay area. Deputies say suspect Walter Medina kidnapped the victim after meeting her in January. According to the oh. sheriff's office, Medina allegedly attacked the woman multiple times with a baseball bat and screwdriver, severely injuring her. That's Investigators so say up. the woman eventually escaped from her captor after she was left alone at a Walgreens. Law enforcement officials arrest- That's kind of like a brain damaged move for like a kidnapper, right? Like I know you're already fucked in your head because like you're a kidnapper and you're a fucking like- Like you're, you're torturing somebody. But like, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna kidnap somebody and then I'm gonna leave them alone in a fucking Walgreens. I'm just gonna go run to use the restroom real quick. You just stay right here and don't make any sort of scene at all. Don't tell anybody I kidnapped you two months ago and have been relentlessly torturing you ever since. Hello? <laughs> Hello? You fucking moron? You fucking deranged idiot? Yeah, the perfect crime. No one said they were smart. This happens quite a lot. Just open the windows a little and leave her some water. I wanted some overpay for some candy. A bold move. Where did you go? God. That's soul. Stockholm Syndrome didn't kick in on time. Crooks aren't usually smart. True. True. Sid Medina Tuesday after a pursuit in Polk County. He was charged with numerous felonies, including attempted second degree murder, kidnapping, and aggravated battery. Jesus. Deputies say Medina has a history of violence and has previously served time in prison for false imprisonment. This isn't the first time he's done this? Hello? What do you mean he previously served time in prison for false imprisonment? Why is he allowed out again? Why is, it, why is he allowed on the streets? You're telling me he's already been arrested for this once. Fuck off. Fuck off. That is horrible. That is so fucking horrible. Practice, practice, practice. Repeat offender. This guy is a fucking lunatic. Starlight alarm reviews. Thank you, actual... I don't know how to say that name. But that is it, and I don't think you, why was his first thought space junk and not plane junk? I have no idea. I have no idea. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Third time's the charm! Yeah, when he gets out again, I'm sure he'll... I'm sure he'll really get him next time. Next time he'll go after, like, a child or something, you know? Something that doesn't have as much of a chance to, like, fight back and a little bit easier to break the mind of. Man. Florida man arrested for shooting out window of business. I need to like... Close all these other tabs. Hold on. Okay, what went on here? A Miami man accused of using a shotgun to shoot out the front of a window of a Pilates studio with six people inside in downtown Deland on March 4th was arrested on Friday. Interesting... Interesting decision. A man fucking hates Pilates. I, I get you, bro. I get you. Michael King, 35, was booked into Volusia County Jail, Ranch Jail on Friday and charged with culpable negligence and shooting into a building. He was out of jail on $11,000 bail. Is there a reason? Does he have a reason for this? Jones told the land detectives that on March 3rd, she and her boyfriend King and her sister traveled from Miami in the rented Jeep to visit her grandfather in Summerfield, Florida. Then on March 4th, they decided to go off-roading in the Ocala National Forest and then decided to, tra to travel to the land to eat at a restaurant. The report detailed 
Joan said that after she parked, she heard the gunfire and King running to the front of the Jeep telling her to go, 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 police stated. Jones asked King what happened and he said he was securing the shotgun when he accidentally fired it. What do you mean securing the shotgun? Dog, thank you. Wowzers, one year you be. Hell yeah! Well, King hired a lawyer and declined to speak to the land detectives, but he did text his girlfriend, police stated. In text messages to Jones, King sent news reports of the downtown Deland shooting. King also told Jones he was putting the shotgun in storage in case police got a warrant and told Jones to put her phone and iPad on vibrate in case police called her from outside her door, detectives said. King also told Jones that he thought the detective working on the case had more important things to do and that the case might go away, the report said. We're just a person of interest on a stack of papers on somebody's desk. I was watching those videos today and the lady that called you is like the main detective, so I'm sure she would have more important things to investigate. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah, cat share. I hope it's a I hope it's a nice place. Police said King wrote in a text message to Jones, I hope all this gets dropped and goes away. I'll never let this expletive happen again, I swear to god. Bro. <laughs> Why did he ever strike a Why was he just running around a fucking like outlet ball or whatever the hell it was with a fucking shotgun? Bro. Bro. Chat. What do you guys think happened on 420 of 2023? Michael says, like, thank you. You should check out the Holla, aka Charles Easter. I ran into him in Tampa before. He's infamous. Holla, Charles Easter. Is this a fellow we could find videos of? Are there other videos of this mythical creature? Hold on. Holla Charles Easter? Whoa. Charles Holla. What? What is this? What? Chat, what is this? Slow but basic. The more things change, the more Florida stays the same. So true, King. So true. Charles Holla in Times Square. No, no. Copyright! What is with this music? Ah! Charles, what are you doing? Charles! Charles, stop it! Stop it, Charles! Oh, God. Ah! Charles! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Yeah, Charles, I'm crying too. Oh, does he have a holla tattooed on his forehead? My phone detected it's Jover. What? Drugs are bad. Okay. Rip on. Charles? <laughs> Charles? Slay Queen. Oh, God. Charles Holla in Times Square. Hi, Charles. Shine bright like a diamond. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. Bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. We'll do like diamonds in the sky. Yo, he's kind of killing it though. Dan, thank you. Here I come, copyright idol. You know what, Charles? You're killing it. Hell yeah, yeah Charles. Are you telling me this is free to watch? <laughs> Chad, is it unethical to laugh at this? <laughs> like it's an unfortunate situation, right? <laughs> but God, if it isn't fucking funny. Somebody just breaking out into song having a grand time oh hollow man with the tinged forehead tattoo arrested for the 27th time what is this music why is all of the music around charles fucking weird and out of place why did it slip to funny s switch to funny like cloud music 
Four seconds later, you send that to Cole with no context, Mr. Hero. Thank you. He's got the Wesley Willis vibe. What is this? Grant, thank you. It's never unethical to laugh. Okay, I guess that's the end of it. Ten years ago? So. Hi, Charles. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, yeah. I'm from New York. I'm a actor, model, movie star, stripper, dancer, writer. I know yeah. Jay Z, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Brit Brit, Rihanna, Beyonce. I know uh, Beyonce, Simpson, Coleman Electra, J Lo. <laughs> um, I perform at birthday parties. I perform at uh, bachelor parties, weddings, anniversary, spring break, Fourth of July, Labor Day. Uh, How do I get them on the stream? Holiday, pretty much. Awesome. Well, you don't perform Skeleton at thank you. children's birthday parties, do you? I do, but I do. I do. I just when I do that, I just look like Cinderella, Snow White. Betty Boop, Hello Kitty. Um, I dress up like uh, Sarah McLaughlin as Daphne. I dress up as Thelma. Sarah McLaughlin, M McLaughlin as Daphne. Skeleton Mage, thank you. Odin, thank you. We didn't see Pippa before she was a VTuber. This is, it's like looking into a mirror. I dress up as Scooby Doo sometimes, Batwoman, Cat Girl. Um, pretty much all of them. Awesome. Well, I loved your moves that you were doing down here. Can we see a few of your moves? Sure, why not? Awesome. Woo! Hell Great. yeah! Thank you. You're welcome. And um, so tell me, what Ellen Barter, thank you. Can we get this guy to celebrate Fishman's birthday? Forehead. Because What's I make pretty girls like you. Holla! Holla! <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Chad? I'm thinking thank based. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, you know I'm gonna charge you for that, right? You're gonna charge me for this? Of course. Oh, okay. How much? Five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. Hmm. Yep, New Yorker. We got any more crazy videos of this guy? Corrupt HOA. Young Lee, thank you. I'd take Charles over Christian any day. <laughs> are there- are there no... We need more videos. We need more videos, chat. M maybe we can find, like, weird videos of Florida men? Are there any famous Florida men? This is a New Yorker. I want to see, like, crazy Florida men. Chat, tell me. Tell me. I need the Florida lore. Do we have any, like... Crazy fucking Floridians that are like that are like Charles Holla. Hmm. Joker guy. Citrus thank you. This was like ten years ago. I hope Charles is okay. I hope Charles is okay. Hold on. Charles Holla. Is there is it? Well, life story. Wait, hold on. I found a playlist titled Life Story. This is all a long time ago. like <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Vlog Creations is a nutty Florida man? Hell yeah, Charles! <laughs> I'm... I, is he talking on the phone or is he listening to this on his phone? Shakira, <laughs> Shakira. You make a woman go mad. The people. The people. I love the I love the cameraman going along with it. Hell yeah. You know what? I like him. That's good. That's good shit right there. Can you imagine you're standing in line at the DMV and you see that go down? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, vlog creations? This is a Florida guy? This is like a prank channel. This is just- this is just one of those fake prank channels. I don't want to see this. Be cringing, but it'd be interesting. Yeah, let me show you. This is just this is just one of those those weird prank channels. 
I want like properly nutty Florida man. Not just like not 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 shit like this. Does anybody have some some rare Florida content? Hold on. Wait, chat, I have an idea. Let's do Florida man filters. Upload date. Today. Maybe. Can we get something good? Can we get guys just down to Loud! It's getting pretty busy. Where is my audio thing? There we go. Why is this hashtag Florida man? Guys, just downtown St. Petersburg. I don't know why this is hashtag Florida man. Funny pranks? What did, what did, hold, mm. We need like, we need like rare Florida man content, chat. Chat, I want like, I want like rare Florida content. Look up the ham man. The ham man. That's a lot of ham. From A and E. Man ham Aslum? Man ham city? What are these? Chat, what are these? Is this guy from Florida? Man. That name means many things to the people of Ham. Man always was a national icon, even from a young what? age. Some say he was bitten by a radioactive man, and some say he was created. Man, him. Is oh, wait, no, I get the joke. I live here in St. Pete. Man is my hero. Maybe if we go to TikTok. Chad, I know you guys hate the Tiki Talkies, but you can find some crazy people on there. I still want to do a stream just, just going through and finding like all the really crazy shit. Hold on. What the hell is autoplaying? Chad, I don't know what's auto-playing. Hold on. Ignore, ignore the background audio. Fucking TikTok just like auto-plays shit. I gotta sign into like my, my, my account to make it work. Better do it before it's banned? Yeah. Let's see here. Fucking verification fo- I don't have the verification for the account! I don't. Is that the, the phone number is not my phone number, man. I send you the best one on X. CPBC Tech, thank you. How do we find like rare Florida man content on on YouTube? What are, what are these sounds? I can't see what it's trying to show me. Uh. Mentions. Best Florida man documentary. Hello, hello, Florida man. Very rare. How rare is this? Okay, I'm closing TikTok. 1.7 views. 1.7 million views. This is not rare. That's mainstream. 1 million views is mainstream. I don't want. I don't. I don't want like. I don't want like like fucking readily available content, man. I want to. I want to. I want to see rare Florida man shit. I don't want to see like sort by new. Hold on. Chat, we return. We return to YouTube. We return to YouTube. Florida man recently uploaded. Wait, what about what about hashtag Florida? CPBC Tech, thank you. Trust me, you'll want to see some of this. No, it's like a fucking giant ass documentary with 1.7 million views. Look up fishing, Garrett. Brandon Powell, thank you. Hello, Pippa. 1.3 million I don't want this! Hello, Pippa. Recovering from surgery to hopefully help manage my chronic pain. Not all here. Just want to say hi. Chat! Chat! I want more shit like Charles Hala. Not like mainstream channels that just show off cool shit. Florida Man today, a bunch of two to three minute news clips. Florida man today. Look up gang stalking. Hold on. Hashtag gang stalking 
Hashtag Florida. Filters. Upload date. I'm not saying it. Why, why is it filtering out the Florida? Gang stalking in Florida? Illegal organized gang stalking? Tampa, Florida? Hey guys, how you doing? Hello. Oh. And Hi, Marsha. Bringing you guys some information on gang stalking crime. Why is it so quiet? Where the sheriff and chief recruit citizens to my control. Hey guys. And that's just where it cuts off. Okay. Thank you for the information, Brenda. Martha, whatever your name was. CPPC Tech, thank you. That docky was full of the gold you're hunting. Government. But it has a bunch of views. It's not rare content. Private sector type program. As a target, this is. I've noticed that this is incredibly well funded. They got her. We're talking about entire storefronts, entire neighborhoods Whoa. that have been funded. Whoa. To <gasps> Walmart. Oh, I should type in like Tampa, Florida, Walmart. Some type of bizarre entrapment situation to make you look insane. There's a drug called Flocka. <laughs> Targets who've been through this to, to the level I've seen, they're going to understand. Chat, doesn't she look like she would, like, post on Twitter about, like, hashtag current events? This is not what I envision when I think of, like, gang stalking people. It feels like you're in some bizarre entrapment situation wherever you go. And you quickly realize that these businesses are funded. And in some cases, they're actually no planting... Uh... I it's think entrapment. On private contracts. It's how narcissists feel a, a sense of power you, over others. Government, private sector type program. Combine psychological techniques and tactics. As a target, this oh, I've man. noticed that this is incredibly well funded. Yeah. We're talking about entire storefronts. I think this is just looping. What the fuck? <laughs> Walmart hashtag Tampa sort by upload date Walmart in Tampa hell yeah yep it feels like I'm really there oh yeah oh yeah great video <laughs> what the fuck? What are some like? What are some things? Oh, oh, cockroach, Walmart, Tampa, Florida. Okay, Ow! So we are Ow! in November in Walmart in Tampa. This is November third. Oh! You can see a cockroach. Man, what did the Walmart's where I used to live had cockroaches? I was like trying to buy a can of soup after a dentist appointment and there was a dead roach on the can of soup that I grabbed. I was like, yep. Putting that back. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about Walmart? Flocka. You said this is a drug? Drug craze tweaker zombie. Oh, they're trying to help her. Ah! Why is that? Oh, they're trying to help her. Okay, put it in hers. 
Oh my god! Interpretive dance? They can fix her! Bro, bro, you see. Hey, they, they probably coming like you got hey. you got people watching you out here. This is a closed, this is a quiet neighborhood. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. We're the neighborhood watching you. Bet your ass we're watching you. They're patrolling her. So oh my god. Zero thing. Oh, brown bear, thank you. Girl has her controller in front. Oh my god. Down and calm down until you get yourself together. I, I don't think she's in control of herself. Base dog. What the fuck? I need to read anything. A man on Flacca claimed to be Thor uh, sexually assaulted a tree? Input lag? Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, uh, upload date. Okay. It's just the one thing from fucking eight years ago. Okay, hashtag Flacca. You're not allowed. I'm not on Flacca! I'M NOT ON FLACA! Fentanyl zombie shorts? Loud. What the fuck? Chat! Chat, what the fuck? Chat! Chat! Chat, hell no! Chat, I'm gonna have nightmares! Shut! I'm gonna have fucking nightmares. Okay, I think that's why people there's extra protein in the soup. Oh, hell no! I ain't going near that person. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? How come I think you look a bath salt zombie? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, the beginning is so creepy. You could put this in a horror game. Crazy people. Where did you in the end it all returns to marmot? Oh god, what's something? What's something that somebody from Florida might write? What if just like hashtag Florida? What's like the most drugged up part of Florida? Is it Tampa? Hashtag Tampa? Imagine like you do hashtag Tampa and it shows you like that you're not alone. Here's the drug fucking service line. <laughs> All right. Uh, upload date. Let's see here. Aesthetic vibes. I don't want to see aesthetic. I want to see like. I want to see like crazy person stuff. TPP said, "Heck, I uploaded a golden sixty-second clip for you on X." Let's see. Let's see what my mentions. I only see the... Oh wait, let me try refreshing. Yeah, I only see the... I only see you adding me with the... with the documentary. Things in our Tampa office that just make sense? What about like, uh... What about like, Tampa... Tampa Tweaker? Tampa Tweaker. 
a Jacksonville? Hold on. Jacksonville. Let's see. Upload date? Like a bum fights? Serial addicts for you. What is this? Wow. I love cereal. Oh, it's like an ice cream shop. Wait, this actually looks cool. Oh my god, YouTube. God damn it. God damn it. Hmm. Hmm. So frustrating. Mm, we back? I'm trying to type in like stuff that might get us stuff, you know, like hashtag IRS. Maybe like, hmm. Hmm. I really want more stuff like Charles Holla. Maybe, maybe there's some like shorts of like. If we can get the shorts algorithm on our side, we might be able to continue finding crazy people. Hmm. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, hashtag world star. World star. It's felt like that. It's felt like that. Upload date. Mmm. Not saying anything. Marmot spot spotted. You're trying to force it at this point. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the rare content. Public freak out. Florida chemtrail. Any shorts? See, YouTube's no fun. It used to be you could go on YouTube and you could find, like, the crazy people. Right? But now YouTube's like, no, we can't have people finding the crazy people. We need to, like, hide as much of the crazy content as we can. Otherwise, people might find the crazy people. Corey Cass, thank you. Could you search for Pippa on Hinge Moments? Oh, my God. Flat Earth map at Florida Airport. That's the Miami Echo Ice Wall. Cheers, man. Oh, my God. Ice Wall? Ice Wall? I saw this at the Miami Echo Ice Wall? Ice wall. Ice wall. Cheers, man. Chat. Ice wall. Too much wind. What? <laughs> the Earth is not flat. Hashtag never enough diving. Here's another video for all you flat earthers. I am about twelve miles offshore, and you can clearly see. You can only see the tops of the buildings. Thanks, buddy. Because everything else. The water the looks beautiful. Okay. <laughs> the flattest state has the best view in America. Flat Earth. Visiting Norway. Clowny? Expl what is this? They ask me, Clowny, what are you doing? Studying the flat Earth. I'm searching high and low is what I'm doing. And I'm coming up with the same results. Chad, I think Don't we found a Florida man. Or flat Earth or whatever you have led to believe that it is. There's only one bona fide hype clown and you're looking at him. What? Yes. Lucille, thank you. If you want to find a bunch of crazy people, there's a company you should look at. It's called Face Connect. Chad, I think we found him. I think we found something. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? Bitch ass motherfucker, you what? put me in a goddamn cage. I ain't fucking doing what? That. Fuck you. I ain't gonna be in a goddamn cage getting motherfucking yeah. exploited and shit or so somebody else can make a fucking dollar. Hell yeah, clowny. Bitch Based. Ass. 
Based. You're a real one. The police done wrecked the damn police. What the fuck? One cop hit another cop. Fuck, man. That's not good. Why he goes out like this in public? Ah! Holy shit, look at his teeth. They're worse than mine. We're gonna record it. Thank you. Hi, Pip. I can't wait to please my order for your hoodie. So excited. Nine months has really been long. Thanks for everything. Hell yeah. You know, trust. Trust is a big thing. Yeah, clowning. Real big, okay? Yeah. And when you need a car, and you need something reliable and dependable, yeah. you gotta go with somebody you can trust. You gotta go with somebody that's been around for like 10 years or more. Ivy League that's Auto Sales does not know I made this video. And you go to Ivy League Auto Sales. Damn right, Most Ivy League Auto Sales. Clowny sent you. <laughs> Where is this at? This is at Florida, right? This is in Florida. And yeah, fuck, man. Dev deck, thank you. Skip the companion, thank you. This is Tropical Juggalo. We found the rare tropical variant of a Juggalo. An Alolan Juggalo. What the fuck, the basic you? Try Florida Man shenanigans. He has an action figure of himself. God bless. Fuck yeah, clowny. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Is that a Hulk Hogan figurine that I just realized? Hell yeah. Mexico loves clowny. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks for showing us. Why do you guys think he's in Mexico? What do you guys think he's in Mexico for? And then we're gonna get famous, right? Well, I mean, you know, yeah. 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 Yeah, let's talk about something else. Clowny, you're so funny. I'm about to see about this shit, man. About to see she's about scared, this she's scared. Quick, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Pretty sure that's not Mexico? That's my boy. Hey, my man. Clowny got Riz, yeah. Hey, I mean, what's up, man? It's Clowny, man. The world's only bonafide hype clown, man. Look, you need to get some shit, man. You some beers, some cigarettes, condoms, where the fuck? Come right here, man, in the damn motherfucking beat. Oh, shit, there's people here. All right, Hell man, right, yeah. Man. Fuck, uh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I don't know what's going on! Dr. Roxo's dad, this guy is unironically pretty cool. He seems chill. He doesn't seem like an actual crazy person. He seems like... Oh, okay. Hi. Oh. We're live okay. right now. That's... No, no, no. You oh. can't steal okay. my shit. Hi. That's my name is Dominique J. He's bold. He's bold. He seems like kind of out of touch, but like aware of marketing. Like it's kayfabe. Yeah, like it's kayfabe. Let me tell you something about Sleazy Street with Jen. Okay, she calls herself what the Street hell? with Jen. He's a clown on a all mission, yeah. All y'all know that she's been stalking me all across the state of Florida. Showing up at my show. Oh, no. Come, got, she violated a strain order. Come to the last one. I oh, no, we hate Jen. Her I, mean, I don't do nothing without receipts, man. I don't play that shit. Trigger point, okay, do you hold Hogan down on his luck nowadays? I think so. Hands on me, slap me in the face. Okay, thinks it's all the fucking game. Talking about I stole her panties, all this bullshit. Which oh no! One that volunteered to come on stage for the magic show and disappeared panty trick. The what? The what? The what trick? <laughs> he stole this woman's panties. The magic show. Okay, hashtag Florida, hashtag schizo. Uh, upload date. Nothing good, chat. It is so hard to find. It's so hard to find good content. It's just, it's just impossible. In the last hour, a day. Hold on. A day. No. Hmm. Hashtag Florida. Hashtag crazy. I don't think we're gonna find anything. I think we might have to go back to news articles. 
Unfortunately. Pitbull will never see that trick. I will never see the trick. I wonder if Clowny is like more popular on like TikTok or something. I wonder. I wonder. I wish we could find like... I really wish Charles had a... I really wish Charles Holla or like... Like Daniel Larson. There were some crazy people that we found. I don't remember how we found them. Hey, dog, thank you. Pippa, why, whatever means necessary. You need to interview Cloudy. This is what Live Leak was for. True. Try. Takakale Gainesville. They just had their 100th anniversary of their service. It's a mental institution. Pyroko Bait, thank you. We just randomly stumbled into these crazies in the past. How did we do it? How did we do it? I think you did FBI gang stalking. Let's try Florida gang stalking again. Let's see here. Let's see. Hey, so this video was for my TIs out there with children. Um, I don't have any. Oh, back. right, 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 wait. It was GI. It was GI that let us found, find, find like the, 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 the crazy people. Maybe? G.I. Joe's? Hmm. Gang stalking takes no vacations. Hey, what's going on to my T.I.s out there? Hold on. Domestic terror... What is this? Oh, hell yeah. This goes hard. This goes hard. I don't know what's happening, but it goes hard. Oh, T.I. targeted individual. Lord Alzo, I think you think Clowny will hype up Face Connect Coffee. Maybe. Are they casting a spell? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Domestic terrorism live gang stalking on 4,500 Americans from Orlando, Florida, red trucks, red towels. What? June, thank you. <laughs> Does this person have any more content? If loving the higher power is wrong, I don't want to be right. Thank you, Divine Majesty. I love you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Line in the sand. Resist. Hashtag resist the devil. Why she taking other people's content? She's taking other people's content. Thank you, Divine Majesty, for rescuing me from Satan. Yeah, it's a big one! Because I got my other one right here. The last time I was walking, I got this one. Hell yeah. It's another big one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I didn't do them. That's kind of wholesome. Wow, my angels are with me. Thank you! That's, that's wholesome. I went, ah! Ah! <laughs> I can feel the Holy Spirit. It's beautiful. Same. So do they everywhere. They everywhere I go. Ah. Everywhere. <laughs> All this content this makes me feel like a favorite. Last time I went on my walk, and this one I just got just right now. Thank you. Yeah. You get any other ones? And look, there's no birds around. No birds. No birds. Birds are fake. I don't see none. Hell yeah. Thank you, my angels. Thank you, Divine Majesty. Thank you, Holy Son. Thank you, all heavenly beings. I love you. Mwah. I wish I was this happy to go outside. You must sign in to view this video. Shh is for she. Chosen ones, you are the lost sheep. Bat, bat, bat. The Creator will take you. Bat, bat, bat. Bat, bat, right, bat. So, someone really enjoys your music. If you are artist or my music. And maybe they feel like it's time to get. I love Taro, 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 Tarochi, Taraka, and it will be hot. And let's see, um, maybe someone is a stargazer or a sun 
gazes, something like that. Someone in your face thinking your opinions about lacrosse, Wisconsin PD lore. I didn't know the PD had lore. Maybe someone is traveling or going on a trip or helicopters will be flying around. Yeah. Or whatever they're doing. And this is um, heavily beings are around as well. And you are magical manifestations, alpha, new Hell beginnings. Yeah. And you are the lost sheep. And someone has a crush on what you. What is this? Maybe the initial is J. Someone is crushing on you, lost sheep. What, what, what is this? God damn it, YouTube. God damn it, YouTube. Wait, there's so many of these. Greetings, chosen one. Wait, she has the Sanrio Tarot? Chat! Disney and Sanrio? I will hunt Neil down. I hate Neil so much. We back. And so happy birthday, happy holidays. It's gonna be some partying, maybe going to Whoa. Disney. Hell yeah. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Hello Kitty, cake. Looks like a lot of Jamba Juice. Who's this? The Meow Girl, Cat, Gabby Girl, and Hell yeah. Choco Cat. My I don't know Melody, what this is. French fries. There's little stars, twin stars, and get up. It's magic. Budget tarot this card reading? <laughs> I, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be But hashtag repent. And I don't know if it's somebody's birthday. Hashtag repent. Birthday or Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. And never forget about our God, the sovereign creator of the universe. Yeah. Have fun. Enjoy. Eat safely. And don't forget to brush your teeth. Hold on. So you don't get any cavities. All right. Hashtag repent. Hashtag Florida. Upload date. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should. <laughs> what? What is Jurassic? That says the Lord. What? Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Last month, what? I seen a vision. It was on March twentieth, twenty twenty three. Um, that Florida is getting ready to get hit with wrath and judgment again. For oh, those no. that don't know, um, oh, no. last year of August of 2022, I prophesied that I seen floods and crocodiles in the homes and that no! next month of September 2022. What's with the take? Um, I don't know. Pass, um, there was hurricanes and, and a lot of floods in Florida and they were finding crocodiles and alligators in people's homes. No! Um, this vision, I kept Purple hearing the word you. Jurassic Park. And what I what? seen was, I seen these huge alligators, no! crocodiles. They look like they've been here for centuries. No! Um, for those that don't know, Florida used to be a swamp. And so they have houses I think it still is. on top of water. These alligators and crocodiles were so big. They literally look like half the size of our bodies. I'm 5'10", so I'm pretty tall. I mean, they were huge. It was just unbelievable. Um, in the vision, I seen... Um, what does this have to do with Jurassic Army. Park? Um, and what that was is they had to bring out tanks from the armies because I seen these crocodiles and alligators just coming out of the woodworks. Um, in the this is a long video. YouTube Florida man shenanigans. Florida man shenanigans. How do you spell shenanigans? Shenan. Shenani gun. How do you? And then sort by like upload date. Hashtag Florida man. Hashtag for you page. It's YouTube shorts. We don't have those. I don't know about y'all. Florida man air gun channel 2066 with this ship what other content do you have for us what other content do you have for us don't you right thank you dinosaurs are the 11th plague true hell yeah hell yeah what is this channel? Making sure my Easter eggs don't have face huggers. Hell yeah, brother. Had the face hugger thing popping out of the Easter egg. Wait, is this Killdozer? Really, really didn't like that. This is Killdozer, right? Anyway. So, got eyes and ears on. 
so I don't go to the hospital again. I hope this is a killdozer shirt and not something else. So, okay. I'm gonna destroy some Easter eggs. Right. Yuck. 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 For today's test, we're running some 155 grain hollow back slugs. Then this is the return of Gustav the Giant Croc. I thought maybe you think you're fucking bees. Think you think you? Here we go. This guy's absolutely a felon. Why do you say that? Mm. Jesus oh. Christ! This is getting kind of messy. How about yeah. we make it messier with a 375 maxi ball from Texoma Precision Products? Hell yeah! Wow! Egg all over my fall. Whoa, no! All those. <laughs> so where's the face hugger? I don't know. Um. Okay, just, let's see. Let's see. Shorts? What has he got? Anything? Anything interesting? Anything interesting? A lot of hunting videos. Is there any videos of him killing another man? I think it's all just him shooting. Yeah, it's a gun channel from looks like- Yeah, I don't know where this came from. I don't know why this is on here. I don't even see this in his uploads. Where the fuck did that come from? What is that? Why is that there? Why is that there, chat? Three, one, two. No. Oh. No! Whoa. Look at that. You just- That's crazy. Pull out your dog's hair? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Florida man shenanigans? How it feels to chew five gum. Hell yeah. Jack the young Florida man native is pre... Hell yeah. I'm a Florida native and... I'm pretty lit. Anything you find on the internet is probably accurate. Woo! Florida man shenanigans? Do your dogs not shed? My dog sheds, but she doesn't yelp when I like pluck the pluck the excess fur from her. Taking my chicken for a swim? What the fuck? You know what? This is kind of based. This is this is pretty based. This sounds like a good time. That chicken does not want to go for a swim. You're not in water. You're not even touching the water. Aww. Do they have anything else on their channel? Let's see. Oh wait! Oh, this is like a wholesome family channel! Aww. Exploring the Florida Everglades. Yeah, I'm just a Copyright! Do a flip! Four-year-old driving? You guys wanna see the four-year-old driving? This is awesome. Drive. Push it. Yep. Okay. Now put your hands on the steering wheel. And I'm letting go of the brakes, and the car's gonna start driving. Both hands on the steering wheel. Let go. Oldest Florida driver. I'm letting go of the brakes, and the car's driving. And you're steering. Ah. Steering it. So if you steer off of the road, that's it. Ah. Um, why aren't you watching the road? Maybe thank you, Florida watch and Wholesome did not belong in the same sentence. Left, we need to go right. Go right, go right, right. Ah. More, more. Ah. See how the car's doing? Yeah, there you go. Now we straighten out. Back this is so left. cute. Back to the left, a little more. Wholesome family channel never ages well, true. Okay, straight. That kid should not yep. drive, he's now drunk. Tell me if you want to go faster. He's so happy. Faster? Okay. Some good wholesome. Right. Yeah. To the right. Watch the wheel you drive. Aww. Aww. Pepsi, thank you. Can we see the Florida man did on the anniversary of Pepsi? We ain't got 40s here in Florida. Of the St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick. Heck yeah. You're a good group of boys to die with, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> He shouldn't have come here.
for a good group of what? Ones that this is some great multitasking on the part of the prop assistant. They're the providing protection the for the camera operator, providing resistance for the hammer. All the this wait, kid wait. definitely learned what instant karma is after this incident. That's the thing in base. My mom did this when I was a kid. Wait, is all this? Alrighty. The Florida Man games? Chad, what are the Florida Man games? Chad, what is the Florida Man games? Florida... Florida Man games? What? The Florida Man games folks fun at state's reputation? Can we find like videos that won't copyright strike me? What is this? Did it just start this year? I don't know. Upload date? Maybe? Chat, have you guys ever heard of this? Florida Man Games 2024. Straight out of Publix? Oh, they have like a gator! A gator bowl! You don't know, I have no idea. I wish they would rotate the video. Is the entire video like this? No, okay. Hell yeah. First annual, ah. How do I sign up as a sponsor? Florida Man games are cool. I was in them last year. It's a, it says first annual. What do you mean you were in them last year? What the fuck was that vertical landscape? I don't know. Maybe we can put on a, a newest one? Hold on. Let's see. Honestly, I'm exhausted. Does she have footage of them? Record this tomorrow, but I have Does she have footage of it? Chicken coop being Wait, wait, wait. December and already all of the VIP were sold out. I have no idea what, what is the this? rally for the VIP was. So I had Check out Dimension 7, yo. Which was $49.87. $49. That seems extremely steep. Why is it so expensive? To go around? Walking around outside? Now, something that I also want to point out is that part of the Florida Man games was that obviously there would be teams competing and you could apply to compete. However, it was uh -huh. also pretty clearly stipulated on the page here that you could challenge your friends to a couple of different things. Mechanical Gatorade, Florida Sumo, Weaponized Pool Noodles, Obstacle Course, so the Mullet Contest, Florida Man Pen Up, Chicken Is that AI? Video, <laughs> Fight Night, Brawl of the Badges. The one thing that I will state- I feel like, I feel like events and using AI images is not a combination known to work very well. I don't think, I don't think these things are... meant to mesh together. Let's see. Please don't copyright strike me. They crouch here on the competitors at the Florida Man Games. At St. Augustine, Florida. I need to know how they weaponize the pool noodle. Leave it to Florida Man to use AI to advertise for an event website. Ramona is the most insane athletic showdown on Earth. The Florida Man Games poke fun at the games. At the state's reputation for bizarre antics. Activities involve brawling, drinking, gunfire, reptile wrangling, and others carry a risk of jail time or intensive care. What? What? One event had contenders dueling in muddy water in an inflatable pool, pummeling each other with weapons made from pool noodles and duct tape. Interesting. What brings you here today? To watch stupidity occur on the grandest spectacular scale. Hell yeah. What brings you out here today? Uh, to win. To win. Based. I've been Florida my whole life. Yeah. Man. Based. They're calling these events. I'm calling this shit Tuesday afternoon. But prepare. Whoa. Whoa. Chat. Chat, you better not mess with this guy. All right. They're calling this quote unquote events. This guy does this every day. Chicken bingo. Fa. Man, he, 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 he plays your fucking chicken scrabble, man. You better, you better fucking watch out. There's somebody for the Florida man game. Experience. Being in Florida. That's three years. All I did for income was scrapping. So, I mean, I, the end of one of our events is, is hitching a trailer. We do that four or five times a day. So, Whoa. in the end, I think experience will ultimately overcome and cause, bring home a victory. 
<gasps> what the fuck? Bro said nah, I'd win. Taking it a little bit seriously, maybe. But you know what? I appreciate the I appreciate the enthusiasm, you know? I appreciate how Florida Man and Loud Inaugural Florida Man games ripped from the headlines. You've read the headline. And you've undoubtedly shook your head at the absurdity of it all. But what happens when someone decides to turn these infamous headlines into a sporting event? Oh, is this like Come their official advertisement? The inaugural Florida Man Games in St. Augustine, Florida. The bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. He wrangles those crocs? Yeah, he wrangles crocodiles every day. They 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 crawl on they crawl into his pool and he has to wrangle them out. Hey, can we do some like audio balancing? Oh my god, why is it so bass boosted? Chat, why is this fucking promo video so bass boosted? Hello? Bass equals X. Bass equals epic. So fucking true. This goes hard. They had the friend Kyle do the audio. More bass means more badass. Jesus Christ. The Cooter Commandos. Whoa. Whoa. How do they do it? That other guy, that redhead, does this every week. Not sure why. Not sure what this has to do with Florida. What the fuck? Wow. What, what does this have to do with Florida? Based AF skills, because Florida. Imagine the meth. They're literally playing Fall Guys. This is literally Fall Guys. Mechanical Gator. Hell yeah. Hell. I oh, know! What is the kind of place where you'll randomly see a lizard on your ceiling? Next Phase Wars? True. Next Phase Wars, but it's we just get the people that did the Florida Man event. Wow! You know they're trained for this? I really need the- I really need that redhead guy to do like a vlog proving that he was winning everything. Random sensei, thank you. Does this count as Paralympics for Florida? What? what weaponized pool noodle mud duel? What is this? Beat the shit out of them! Yeah! Kind of, kind of surprising that they're using profanity. Sponsored by Jack Daniels. Wow! Surprising. Yeah, usually these kinds of events are family friendly. Go to Gamer, they can get the peace. Okay, the pool noodle mud duel is kind of cringe, in my opinion. This one seems like the most boring one to watch. Probably very fun to participate in, but this one has very low visual appeal. Kill him! It's just too... it's just too padded out. Especially when, like, you watch, like, real Florida Man stuff, you know? They actually, like, kill each other when it's real Florida Man. But this is, like, it's too... it's too cushiony. Is grab the catalytic converters. They both got a catalytic converter in front of them. They're what? Ride this bike through the cones right here, swerving in and out of these cones. Is this stealing They're a Cadillac converter simulator? A catalytic converter for a set of keys. Your teammate should be sitting in the dumpster right what now. What is this? Catalytic right converter and copper pipe ring. <gasps> oh my god! You guys are gonna have the keys <sighs> right there. Oh, you think you're just family friendly? Just depends on your family. You see the keys? Boom. Okay, so you steal a Cadillac converter, then some keys, and then you finish off with the copper pipes. So you are gonna swap out the catalytic converter for the keys. You're gonna unlock your stolen bike. <laughs> then you're going to ride your bike with another bike in tow. You following me? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Go in three, two, kind of based. One, go. 
Any night later, like, these are real Florida men, though. They might fly up the rails, break the rules, and eat at each other. Whoa! 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 Go! 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 Tag, they thank you. With the 5,000 ones! I can't read what that says! Hey, uh, Lamont, thank you for saying Cadillac, Cadillac Converter again. Cadillac Converter? We got one guy still stuck on the bike. Catalytic? He's just picking it up at this point. Catalytic next Cadillac? I don't know how it's pronounced! I don't know how it's pronounced! Hey, hey, these guys are real. Catalytic. 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 Catalytic? I swear, I've always heard it. I've always heard it as Cadillac. I've always heard it as Cadillac. Catalytic, like catalyst. Where did I? Where, why did I get? Cat, where did I get Cadillac and Vita from? From book school education time. Catholic converter. <laughs> Catholic converter. Like the car, like the car. Let's go. This is getting thank you. The bike lock part is really tough. Because they gotta like focus. Catholic is a car brand. And when you're nervous, you're trying to do that. That's a problem. I'm not the only one that pronounces it like that, right? Hold on. This is all gonna come down to Cadillac converter. This is gonna come down to the spot. Hold on. How to pronounce? Chat. Chat, hold on. Catalytic converter. Pronounced as catalytic converter. What? Hold on. No! What else happened? DDT was banned. The catalytic converter was introduced. Catalytic! In your car's catalytic converter is catalytic! Exhaust fumes properly. So if it smells like rotten eggs, go see your mechanic. Pollutants you can put into the atmosphere. But how do we do that? Technologically, we can use a catalytic converter. Catalytic! Uh so like I like I was shortening a bit. I was like, I was like shortening a bit. But it wait! Catalytic. Um, this is uh, something safer. So you could pass the raw material through a catalytic converter. Reactions will certainly occur on the so surface. That's the thing. I'm pretty sure you're not the first ESL part. person to mispronounce it. If it tried to run that test when the catalytic converter wasn't, it would fail. Catalytic. That's really how most things are monitored in you. your car. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm saying a brand <laughs> car name. <laughs> in the pool! In the pool! In the pool! In the pool! Let's do it! Let's go! grammar midstream! Have you done this before? You've never stolen the bike? <laughs> Have you done this before? No, you've never stolen a bike? That's surprising. You do live in Florida. You're right, you're right. Wait, just wink at me. I got you. Wait, do us the honors. Three. It's a trap that cheese it. True. One, let's Florida. Let's Florida. Woo! You never, you're gonna learn today. You take this knowledge you learned here and you go, you go apply it practically. Right, thank you. Donate him to the call for your fun. Now the challenge. A little struggle there, a little took, confusion. Catalytic. Get the bike off. Red team off to a lead. He took hmm. this time. Oh, 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 no. Okay, never mind. He didn't do this before. Bring your skills he's upon the world. He's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. We've been in and out. Pretty smart to not, like, ride it normally. 
Because it'd be too hard? Are we still on that? Because it's weird. I've never heard anyone say catalytic converter before, and I learned what a catalytic converter was when I was seven. Now pronounce hyperbole. Hyperbole! Ten noise hack, thank you for. Ah! For a state with more beaches than any other, I've seen no Florida men with beach bodies, the Olympics, the motorized carts, and hard lemonade. Is there a thank you? Uh, they make a thousand. They make a thousand make a buck for a cut a converter from the company truck? Oh. Hello. Hyperbolic converter. You gotta show off something. You've been getting a lot of gifts from people. A lot of people Check out Dimension 7 year. Dimension 7 year. I'll open them up on another thing. Talk to me about what you got around your neck right now, man. TikTok's loudest felon. I got a, fry, a Publix fried chicken wing necklace. Is there a YouTube archive of his stuff? That is the bling if I've ever seen any wigs. I'm telling you, I'm not taking it off. Ever. So y'all gonna see me with this. Forever. Is this is the problem. All the best crazy people are on TikTok now. It's great. They're like, you want it? I'm like, of course I want it. I love Publix fried chicken and I get to wear it. This is fantastic. Are you ready? Judges, are you ready? Three, two, one. It's unfortunate. We live in a society, chat. We live in a society. They're off. Should be on YouTube still? It'll be off soon after it's banned? I hope it gets banned soon. Yeah, thank you. When you hang out on the beach in January, no one cares and get away with so much stuff. Get the mics all set up. Here we go. Here we go. Here's where the real challenge comes into play. Are they gonna do the copper pipe now? Oh, wait, he's got he's got the strats. I think he's stolen a bike before. Test of endurance. Is there anything you Catholic converter? I think this guy has stolen bikes before, Chad. He has too much experience. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And there's our winner. Oh, man. In the pool. In the pool. In the pool. In the pool. The fucking showboating. Jump in the pool, you coward. Oh, they're just doing this still. What's the last one? Okay, Florida man thoughts. Yeah, this is not the pro circuit. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for... The legend himself! An exclusive! It arrives! This is me when I get another Build-A-Bear. This is literally me opening up my Build-A-Bear boxes. It arrived. He's me for real, for real. The outsiders, it Kevin Nash. Too sweet. Kevin Nash. It arrived. Man's fucking losing it. Holy shit. This is Fillion. This is how Fillion looks. This is... This is 3D Fillion. Fillion's doing all that crazy shit on stream! This is... This is what it looks like when you take off the headset. <laughs> what the fuck? What? what the fuck, dude? That completes the set. Holy Three shit! 12. This is how she should promo her merch. Fillion should record some videos like this with some like little 3D models of her merchandise. It arrived! It arrived! It came with the title! Fillion.com! It came with the hoodie! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> As a river, thank you. Send it to her. Can he go to thank you? Making his own sign. Boom sound effects. <laughs> I can't believe it arrived. Oh my god. <laughs> he just keeps going. He just, he just keeps going. What? No fucking way! Yeah? Any 
anything else. Fuck, dude. <laughs> the original name they could not gonna lie is check against the far door is always weak. <laughs> you smell that? <laughs> it's a celebration. Finally, the what? rock has come back. <laughs> the ultimate edition. He doesn't have the championship he wore at WrestleMania 29. <laughs> Dimension seven, y'all. Not in the you. Imagine being downstairs neighbors. Yeah, living in apartment buildings be like TikTok's loudest felon sent to jail. Did somebody steal his figurines? The TikTok neighbor from hell. Dimension remembers the eviction notice. Excuse me. Oh my god. Fuck them! Yo, I just got a warning not to be loud. You can't be loud for a little bit. <laughs> See this? Next time, you can get evicted. <laughs> What the fuck? How does this man not break through the floor? McLeod think he's gonna stomp straight through the floor of his double wide. Yeah, how does it he? How does it he? He's like 90 pounds. Invisible World, thank you guys. It's here, the eviction notice, WrestleMania. <laughs> I feel bad for him. He has a really good thing going for him. I hope he was able to find another. It arrived. It arrived. I. The taste of was his neighbor. So would I. So would I. They let him think he's literally the hunter from Left 4 Dead. Tippa, it arrived. Imagine hearing this next door. TikTok is the modern day insane asylum. It is. Isn't it great? I'm tearing up, I'm tearing up too. <sighs> Jesus Christ! It's still going. It's still going. Alice, Asha, I thank you. It arrived. The jumping always gets me. The jumping's pretty good. Jesus Christ. It looks like I found my new ASMR! Check what long day you and Pippa when he arrives! What the fuck? Wait, do they have any more uploads from him? No, okay. What the fuck? Dimension 7 yo threat? Spread immediately. Open the door one more time with the police and see what happens to you all. I will shoot up the goddamn schools. <laughs> Go to Spruce Creek myself and shoot up that whole goddamn school. Wow! With wow! Knock on my door. Wow! Dad! 
Knock on my goddamn door one more fucking time. Yeah! What the fuck? <laughs> so, uh... What happened to this guy? Is he still uploading? They don't understand. Listen, everything I've ever been on is garbage. <laughs> Escalated quickly, yeah. Everything's fake. All those people that sold their souls, those are the ones making all the money. I True. told people millions of times. God's on my That's side. Forever, thank every you. time for the I try animal. Yeah. to make money and doing what I love to do, everybody else always steals my content, takes my ideas, I'm glad they, they don't single they think for saying. themselves. They don't know how to do nothing for themselves. That's a, that's a sad. That's a sad world we live in. That's sad. It's just the way the world is. Listen, if you see that I'm up, don't give me a fan page. I don't care about a fan page. I hate fan pages. So if you see I'm up, you see I'm going, you see I'm doing well, stay the fuck away from me. Don't go nowhere near me. Everything I say, they turn it around. I wish I had that clip of XQC complaining about how... He went on, like, this massive rant one time about about people copying his stream ideas. He's like, I can't bring up any of my stream ideas because if I do, people will steal them. That's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. But yet, everybody can do whatever they want. See, people can talk about F this, F that, F this, F that. They can even talk about people that I look up to. Yeah. Hell, they even talk about people that's in the office. Wow. You would never. And I, and I respect them. Yeah. Versus all the other ones that it's in been the, the past. Is how soccer scouts for new talent? That's talents. another story. We go back to what I was talking about. It don't matter. They're going to talk about F this, F that, F this, F that. But yet, I'm still here talking normal. Not saying F this, F that, F this, F that, F this, F No, you that. would never say that. I'm talking about people stealing my content and stealing my stuff. And yeah. me being better than everyone else and everybody being jealous of me. I feel you, buddy. I am also missing teeth and have a massive ego. But yet, nobody listens to that and it don't register into their brains. Yeah. No, I get you, fam. I get you. The Imagine Seven Yo sticks up for his woman. I'm a real gangster. That's the difference. It runs in my blood. What? So the next motherfucker that runs their goddamn mouth on me, I'm gonna shoot their goddamn face off. Oh Facts. my god. Facts! I don't give a rat's ass. What someone go off. tell me. Yeah, go off, dude. That's disrespectful. Where is this came from? Ah! You're a dumbass. You got spit in your teeth. Oh, <laughs> dumb motherfucker. But then when they start saying they're gonna fuck my lady, I'm gonna come fuck them up. Yeah, he's gonna Make fuck sense. them so they can't fuck his I'm girl. Them right in their goddamn face. They ain't touching, they ain't touching my lady. No way. And then when I touch them, that keeps talking their shit on my lady. How are you gonna touch them, Dimension 7, yo? I'm gonna cut their goddamn balls off with this goddamn scissors. No fucking way. Maybe you could. Maybe. <laughs> no. Then I'm gonna cut their dick off and I'm gonna shove it down their goddamn throat. Whoa. Whoa. Real men stick up for their women. Real men go berserk. <laughs> Stop laughing! Drive somebody crazy to kill somebody. <laughs> Real love will do crazy things. Oh that you shit! Won't even do. Facts. Facts. So for real, for real. Somebody, it's a real nigga. That's with. <laughs> What did you just say? <laughs> ah, hello, Raiders! Hello, Raiders! Something happened! Don't worry about it, Raiders! Woo! The only reason why I use the N words is because they get back at people that get on me. <laughs> Not really a racist person, but a racist to the ones that are racist toward white people. That's the truth. <laughs> The truth every single day. I can say crap <gasps> all day long. I can't think you were the fact. <laughs> I'm not really racist. I'm not a racist person. I said the N word. You heard me say it. <laughs> That's to get back at the sons of bitches that got at me. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> well, at least I tell you the truth. Is his like girlfriend or wife or whatever sitting on the couch? 
listening to this as well? Is that why there's an echo? Pasha Saw said they would probably get PPs. Or is it the person who's recording? It wouldn't be the person who's recording this because it would be like weirdly overlapped at the same time. Now you have the truth. There wouldn't be this level of a delay. The question is, do you know your mom's house podcast? Yeah, absolutely. Somebody in the other room Apparently. was watching there it. Go. There you go. Malthusity, it's fine. I give him the See, pass. My oh my god. And again, you disrespect, but that's my mom. Man. I'm the realest person on social media because I'm going to say something. Yeah. First steps first, I'm the realist. Now, TikTok, you can't say what I just said. Now, TikTok. I like I your gap. <laughs> I'm gone within seconds. Where is this man live at? Is this not TikTok? Thanks. I gotta split my teeth, everybody. Look. Wow. That's just like me. I told people. Time I'm missing time the same again, tooth. If you're looking for Ken and Barbie, this ain't it. If you're looking for somebody that looks like Ken with perfect yeah. teeth, wrong. Wrong. If you're looking for somebody. Oh, he's on that Facebook. Looks so great. Reality, but they're not. They're just a fucking stupid jock. Whoa. Wrong person. He's not a jock. He's a he's a he's a nerd. He's nerds are gonna rule the world, you, you know. Nerds to nerds do rule the world. I said thank you. All Happy birthday, Pippa. It's not my birthday. Sports. Go talk to them. But if you want to talk to somebody that loves music, everything. Yeah. Sometimes sports. He loves everything. Entertaining, wrestling. Why is so much stuff this is gay? But if you all want to hear some bullshit, go talk to that same dude. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean, I know you what you mean. I'm gay, you want to run your mouth? We can go up on here. We can talk. You know. He'll prove he's not gay. That, he'll have sex with crazy. you, and he'll be flaccid the entire time. Edification, yeah, thank you. Happy birthday! It's on my birthday. Yeah, let's go live. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's fight. Start me back. Let's go. I love well, I think it was your birthday. But it's not my birthday. You know why? Because I know I'm the number one person on that. Yeah. You know I'm, I'm the number one person on defending myself. Let's yeah. Go. I can't wait. Because I'm the number one you. person. You ain't like Ken with perfect teeth. Facts. Facts. I'm going to shoot you in your goddamn face, fuckhead. Whoa. Hey, now wait a minute. What happened to him saying in the other stream that he doesn't say fuck, fuck, fuck this, fuck that? I feel like I've been lied to. You're the faggot ass motherfucker. Okay, next. <laughs> Shopping on mess. Can we find like a Florida man? Walmart. Missile Tech, thank you. My birthday was last Friday. <laughs> As Kanye, thank you. You've been Florida baptized. Happy Florida birthday. As you play this, thank you. I wish he wasn't filming from the what she sees angle. What? Ah, oh, guys, I might have quit. Thank you. Happy birthday, Pip, but you're left. <laughs> Go back. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. All right. What's going on in Florida Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, Doug, thank you. <laughs> hey, this time I can give him the pass! Oh, 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 Wow. I feel like I'm really there. What's got in your cart? Bananas? Press, I think everyone remembers 4424. When Pippa turns 44, you can't pull us today. Pippa Death Bunny Pipkin. Real Walmart hours. Real Walmart hours. Florida man always returns to Walmart. Hey. Can we just go to Walmart once without this happening? <laughs> what? I'm taking over his role. I'm the recorder now. This is good, thank you. Happy birthday, Benoit. Can we just go to Walmart once without this happening? Without what happening? What are, what are they, what are they, like, focused on? 
Florida man tries to buy child Florida in Florida police have recently arrested a man called Helmuth Kolb after he allegedly tried to purchase a young girl from her parents for $100,000. I think we read this one. At a local grocery store. I think we read that one, right, chat? Man attempts to kidnap four a man has been arrested after attempting to kidnap a four-year-old boy. I was saying that you, Wowie, he knows slurs. That must be his intelligence. We all know intelligent people December, always use slurs at every opportunity. CCTV footage shows a man grabbing the boy's arm in the middle of the Lehigh Acres store and allegedly saying, "Let's go." Before a family member intervenes, sold. police reviewed oh, CCTV shit. footage from the store. I'm not thinking and for them. Walmart are bad enough. Dwellers alone. Hernandez. He was arrested at his residence only one hour after the incident took place on kidnapping and false imprisonment. And charges. That's terrifying. Ryan, thank you. If there's one thing I know about Florida's the Gators, they're just simply built different. I went on the OG Walmart run hunting for Hot Wheels, hey, and it was so that's much fun. fun, I found a M2 chase car. So his video dude, apparently we were late to the game on the Ollies. Why oh no. anyone let me know? Okay though, no problem my people. We are doing the OG run in this video. I'm so excited. Rubber soldier that goes a Florida man can say Wawa is our watering hole. Should I look up Wawa instead? One, dude. We used to count Florida man Wawa? Store one, store two, store three, etc. And so far, dude, store number one actually may have some cars. Like here's Hell the yeah. little white speedster, Porsche Hot Wheels. That's pretty cool. 356 speedster. Oh, no way. The Cayman 718 Whoa. GT4. Dude, is this is this the first time we're seeing this? I can't remember if we got this one already. The card condition is incredible, dude. Is it a I don't know base? anything about cars that or Hot Wheels. It's super heavy. I am so curious if it's a metal base, dude. That thing is so heavy. All right, what else is in here? The little He's purpose. having a good time, though. I'm happy really for this Florida man. Band that one what's back there i'm Another i'm happy for him anything else happened you know, in this like the, the door guards or he just oh, chats about it all right and it's like yeah i haven't seen me hot wheels people go hard man who recorded wawa scuffle shares his story down to a food store fight caught on camera here two customers going at it while a third person recorded it all Hell well, yeah reporter roy ramos spoke with that fight, witness fight, and is live fight, now fight. with the video no yeah. Calvin, so in this video, you will hear colorful, at times even comedic commentary. Well, the man who recorded this video tells Hell me yeah. he did that to try and defuse the situation so the men would stop fighting. They did not. <laughs> no, it's going down. Go ahead. Oh, what are we wilding? An all-out fist fight at the front register of this Lauder Hill Wawa Monday. Wawa. The was thrown while most wah, of us were wah. sleeping around 2 in the morning. What the f I just want my sandwich. Watch as the store employee tries to break apart the men when he too falls to the ground. Turn to the sky. T up top, chicken box. The brawler sharing much more than knuckles when one man's <laughs> pants fall to his knees. This man, you that should watch Hot Wheels Accelerators. Oh Gary my God. Rollins, the man recording the scuffle on his cell phone said he just walked into the store after recording his late night podcast when he tries to get the men to stop. And he just got amazing content. That's all you got to do, fam. But the fight <laughs> continues when the men fall to the ground again no! oh! game because it wasn't really loud we were just kind of hugging each other and his pants was down it was getting embarrassing so i was like <laughs> you guys can end it now as lauder hill police arrive one of the men is seen running out of the front door but no! didn't get very far i don't know anything if ever we need you to make a tier list of b-tubers who you think you could take in a fight i could i could fight fillion we've already established this i would kick fillion's ass with. He had held the door for the, open for the other guy, and the other guy that didn't appreciate it, he was in, he was feeling it. He told him, "Hey, don't ever open the door for me again. I don't need no help." Don't As you ever open the door for me and try to be polite? I'll fucking kill you. What a man takes a beer run. I want to see like what hashtag fail hashtag Florida man hashtag Wawa. Are you fucking with me? Oh, no. oh my me? god. Nigga, please. No, 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 no. Tell me are you on? Oh, no. You smoke strong. I think you can just screw it back on, right? Oh, no. Am I crazy? Oh, no. I I think it screws back on. Here so they can see you too. It reconnects, yeah. Hmm. Family saved Chihuahua from Coyote's jaw. This family keeps an air horn by their back no! door, and for good reason. When a coyote attacked no! a Chihuahua named Chico, that air Chico! horn may have saved the little dog's life. 
first came Chino! Dexter Farkin, then this frightening sight. A coyote chasing a chihuahua no! in the backyard and chomping down on the no! poor little dog. The coyote makes a getaway Holy with the family shit! cat still in its jaws. What? What? Outside? What? They took the back Chico! No, Chico! The homeowners frantically search their backyard. I actually saw our little Chico she has beats in her voice. the coyote's mouth. Carrie and Larry Ruiz were terrified. I witnessed what was the most horrifying experience in my nightmare coming no. true. Stay strapped for Chico. Horrified by yeah. watching the life and death struggle of their beloved pet, Carrie sprang into oh, action. Man. I'm going to get copyright striked by Inside Edition. Can we just skip the... And here's little Chico today. Little Chico's alive! Cat as soon as he heard the air horn. We call him our miracle dog. Hell Chico yeah. suffered a broken rib and... Oh, Chico. I don't want to see that again. Man. So he used an air horn to save him. I would never think of that. I would never think of using an air horn. Hmm. Florida man song? Happy Sixten Maye. What the fuck? Hmm. It is... Holy shit. It's already... Almost been three hours. Somehow. These kinds of streams always fly by for me, chat. These kinds of streams always go by so quickly. I love just browsing, finding crazy shit. Time flies, yeah. It was a bit of a struggle to find some crazy shit today, but they can't all be winners, you know? Sir Cold Inky reminds me of the video of the guy who punched a kangaroo so it stopped choking his dog, then just stared down, stared it down and it left. Yeah. He has a donut, thank you. Chico's safe. Now for him one treat and go to the door, go hime hime hime. What is this? Florida man clicked the live after Deputy Stun Gun ignites gasoline at Wawa Station? Ah! 26-year-old motorcyclist Gian Barreto and Osceola County deputies. According to the sheriff's office, the what? deputies were attempting to arrest Barreto, who had fled after allegedly being part of a group of motorcyclists driving recklessly and pointing a gun at other drivers. Holy but shit! But Wednesday, Barreto's attorneys told a different story. We're not saying anything other than let's get the truth out. Uh-huh. And it's not out. Attorneys Mark Nijam and Albert Yonfa now represent... So what is the truth? Why don't you say the truth? They say initially was not expected to survive and has been hospitalized for 80 days with third-degree burns over oh 75% my God. of his body. The attorneys claim the surveillance video shows what Moretto, was he doing? they say, was not fleeing, being tackled by a deputy from behind as he was pumping gas. Other deputies pull up, one fires a taser what? at Barreto. What the, to the fuck? State Fire Marshal's investigation. Yeah, I'm getting the fuck out of there, man. That ignited the flames. I'm getting Among the fuck the out of there. These questions is why the deputies would deploy a taser towards someone who is pumping gas, which is highly flammable. They also. Yeah, that's insane, man. That's like. Not fleeing. Being He's just standing there pumping his gas! What the fuck? They've gone wild thinking word association is a psychological technique. If you say word and the other person says the first word they think of, like I say, if you say Pippa, I think schizo. If I say Walmart, Pippa thinks gun. Oh my god. That is fucked up. That is so fucked up. He's literally just standing there. He's just standing there menacingly. Like, even if he was fleeing and then stopped to pump gas, why would you tase him while he's pumping gas? Why not just, like, tackle him? Why would you... Why would you... Your first thing is fucking tase him. And that's giving them the benefit of the doubt that they told them to stand down. ...from behind as he was pumping gas. Other deputies pull up, one fires a taser at Barreto, and according to the state fire marshal's investigation, Jeez. it was that taser that ignited the flame. He was already tackled? Among the attorney's questions is why the deputies would deploy a taser towards someone who was pumping gas. Okay, what do you gotta yeah. say? So far, Osceola County what do you gotta say? Marcos Lopez has not responded to questions from West 2 News. I bet they fucking haven't! News conference on the incident Thursday afternoon. Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ, chat. Woman being randomly punched in NYC. 
Show me. Multiple women in New York City taking to social media. Show me. A dog punched her on Monday in Chelsea. For that attack, police charged 40-year-old Skabuki to TikTok. Who me and randomly punch? Similar stories of punched me in the face. What's been happening? No footage. I don't care. You must show me footage. Domestic violence and fight caught on camera? I mean, domestic violence. This one seems a little bit too spicy, maybe. Yeah, no punch. Skip. Skip. Man. He socked him? We need some suplexes? We do. We do. So fucked up, man. Late night while while run for a Florida teen. It doesn't look like anything happens. Florida... Hmm. Okay, let's see, let's see. Average Florida teen at 10 p.m. Oh, it's just like a funny meme. Funny haha. I, wa I was expecting it to like pan over and there's like somebody like doing drugs. Hold on. Florida man Wawa footage. About Florida man birthday? I hate all these goddamn news videos. I want like, I want like rare footage, man. YouTube is so fucked now. YouTube is like so obviously built to like prioritize news outlets and shit. It's so messed up. It's so fucking messed up. I don't know why they do it. I don't know why they do it. YouTube likes news channels, they do. They do. Evil man poisons his nephew's meatball sub. What? New surveillance video of man catching a foot. Oh no! He got on a plane without a, a, a ticket to fly? No! How could he do that? Cameras capturing what we believe oh, is that man no! photos of other people's boarding passes. And this morning, what you need to know to protect your information. This morning, the dramatic security camera Let's footage see. showing a Texas man before authorities say he boarded a Delta flight from Salt Lake City heading to Austin, Texas without a ticket. Watch as the man authorities identified as Wyclef Florizard oh. appears to take a Wait, photo that's actually clever. of another passenger's ticket last Sunday. A felony complaint said he took photos of multiple passenger phones while they were not looking. What? That's actually kind of clever, though. Can I thank you? I mean, it's not good to do, but that's actually kind of clever. Reminds me of the story when a man entered a police department and dumped a whole bottle of hand sanitizer on himself for the police to taser him and he was engulfed by flames on YouTube. Finally, a worthy opponent. To the complaint, then using his phone as a boarding pass to board. It has been pretty much a foolproof system, it has a hole in it, and that hole has to be filled. Florizard was apparently on standby for a Southwest flight that uh. was completely full. That's when officials say he then tried to get aboard a- Doesn't make sense when the passengers complain when they can't get on. Well, speaking from experience, right? Like, like I've gone, I've gone on planes and stuff, and it's been like there's people in my seat or whatever, and I'm like, my seat's full, and they're like, oh, just go sit somewhere else. Delta flight. You know, once aboard the Delta flight, according to the affidavit, or like I won't even have like a seat on my ticket. The equipment storage door. A flight attendant then assists him to a bathroom toward the front of the plane while others board. The affidavit explains, meanwhile, a Delta gate agent tries scanning another passenger's ticket, but the system says she already boarded. The affidavit suggests the system worked, yet the girl was still allowed to board. Aww. Before the doors close, Florizard moves to the bathroom in the back. As he leaves it, the attendant sees no open seats and tries helping as the plane starts to taxi. Then she realizes he is not a passenger. The plane then returns to the gate, where authorities arrive. Fucking smooth criminal, man! Aw, oh, man, he shouldn't have done it on one that was, like, full, though. Like, if you think about this, right? If you think about this, if he had not done this on a flight that was fully booked, he so could have gotten away with this. He, I bet he's done this so many times before. Uh, numbers, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Should have stayed in the toilet longer. Yeah, he should have stayed in the toilet longer. Man, if his seat was open, he would have made it. We'll play. Yeah, he did nothing right. He did nothing wrong. 
experts with this warning for all passengers. You did it because well, it was full? You need to be pretty well aware of uh, what you're flashing around, because it might not be somebody trying to get on the airplane, Alyssa. It could be something else. Delta mm. says they're cooperating with officials, and Florizard is charged with felony stowaway and is required to go through a mental health evaluation, according to the complaint. This man's not crazy. He's based. He's crazy based. Chat! Also, the fucking internet that man, I hate this shit so fucking much. God damn it, YouTube. I just wanna stream. I just wanna stream. God.